Oh wait, hold on. I need to fix my banner. All right. Um, I don't have the brain power for more than two landmarks right now. List default settings. I don't. I'm gonna have a hard time uh, making my brain work. I do have a banner. I know. Um, it's mostly to hide like the top of my Google Chrome bar, and I just put some stuff in there because I can. Um. Okay, so, like, uh, need to turn off spec chat. I mean, I could, but I already have a banner, so. <laughs> uh, um, okay, and I can't read your chats anymore, so. Yeah. Time to Start. Okay, sure. Away we go. I need to win three, I think, here to not demote, or two and a half to not demote. So let's just do that, I guess. I guess if I win exactly three, I remain five hundred for the season, which is fun. Um. So I'm guessing scrying pool looks really good here. I don't like being second player on this board. It seems like a pretty strong board. I'm going to open Potion Church, I guess, right? Oh, Displace Open. I think the 5-2 is actually quite good. You can open Displace Save, which is pretty solid. Um, I will open, I believe, Potion Church. I think that's the open. I don't know. The problem with Potion Church is I, I want Displace. Huh. <clears throat> eh. It's, like, fine, I guess. The potion open's, like, mediocre. It doesn't hit displace very fast. I guess church lets you hit displace fast, though, right? I can just save stuff up for a five-coin hand. Between church and save, I think I can just open potion church and hope to hit displace before too long, even if it's not turn three, four. I don't know. Displacing estates to heralds is so good, though. Coppers to pawns is also really good. Displace is really good. But, like, what else am I opening? Oh, whatever. Let's do potion church. Yeah, I think the 5-2 is just um, stellar on this board. Okay, so like, I guess I just church across an estate, and there is a very slim chance that I manage to hit 5 next turn. Uh, which would be excellent, but... I mean, I could... Like, there's this world in which I just set aside copper here instead. Um... I don't think it's a very good world, though, right? There's a world in which I just set aside copper instead. And then I just, um... Buy display. That's just, that's just dumb. Just just do the thing that makes sense. I guess. Um, so this will be... Like a plaza? Do I just save a thing? Do I take a pawn, maybe? I could do, like, pawn save copper. That has some appeal to it, actually. Pawn save copper... It makes it a little more likely I hit Displace next turn. It's not a great chance I hit Displace next turn. Also, pawns are just fine here. Um, pawns are just like generally okay on this board. I should probably save first before I buy pawn, right? Okay, so I can most likely hit five here. Um, his deck currently is better than mine, I think. So, I guess we top deck you, we top deck you. Alright, I'm going to church just the estate, and I'm going to buy displace, I think. Seems pretty good. Um, I guess there's a world in which I consider not trashing these estates, just so I can displace them, but I think that's a dumb world that I don't care about. So we're going to go ahead and just trash you. Um... I'm not triggering the shuffle, right? I don't think so. So I take coin buy and I save an estate, I guess? To shrine pool? Sounds fine. Uh, coin buy. We need to go save on you, take up a scrying pool. Ooh, well, it's really nice when you draw a scrying pool at the top of every shuffle, I guess. You can discard the potion, actually. I'm okay with that. I'm actually quite okay with you discarding potion. 
He's, he's up two heralds, though, which is a good number of heralds to be up. I am up a pawn. No, I'm not up a pawn. I'm up a scrying pool. Is that all I'm up? Yeah. I wish I was up more than that. I'm not even up a scrying pool. I'm just, like... I'm just down two heralds and, and like, a second player. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, discard. Discard. Oh, that's annoying. Card action, I guess? Oh, that's a dumb turn. Okay, fine. Uh, exile you. I'll take the Carol now. I think I'd take another pawn here, right? I just want, like... I'd rather just save a copper to get out of my shuffle and buy a pawn. I guess there's some world in which I want to buy the Herald right now, but I think another pawn's just fine. Plus buy is fine here. Um... <clears throat> try to get some more Destriers at some point. I guess the second Displace would be pretty good at some point, too. But I'd probably just Displace into it. I don't know. I don't know what I would Displace into it. I don't, I don't want to lose my Church. I think the Church is just really good to start setting aside crap. I wonder if it was ever correct to set aside more with my Church than I did. Okay, we can discard that. It's fine. We can discard that. It's fine. Um, is there an order here that makes sense? I don't know. Scrying pool. Top deck. Discard. Seems fine. Um, so what's the order here? What's down there? There's an estate down there I want to find, right? There's a herald down there. That would be less... Well, hidden herald's fine, too. I guess I'll just take card action. Okay, there's a herald. So, the only thing in my discard pile right now is a potion? Is that right? Hmm. It's a little awkward, isn't it? Last card's the estate, which I really want to draw. But then, like... I guess if I just... If I can't do plus buy in that case. I guess I can do it like this, right? If I do... I can just, like, take card action on the pawn, play the herald, fine. Um, I get to church some stuff. And I displace... I displace the estate. And then I can just buy a scrying pool? Is that correct? That sounds alright. The other option is I try to do fancier things, but I think this is fine. I need a plaza. I need, just need the Herald to hit so I can get a gain and play with my Displace. I think this is fine. Let's do card action. Set aside one, two, three coppers. Um, wait, I don't have an estate. Oh, I trashed two estates. Never mind, this is fine too. <laughs> Why did I think I had an estate down there? I mean, this is all fine. I don't really see the problem, but <laughs> I kind of thought I was getting a state. Um, I mean, I don't know if, maybe Pawn is just as good as Herald, to be honest, but um, this is all fine. All fine. I just know, I just want my Herald to hit. If my Herald hits, then I get to gain and play on the displace, which is probably really good. Hmm. I kind of want a second church at some point, too. I don't know if it's quite necessary to have two churches here, but the idea of just, like, setting aside... I guess save just does, does the same effect, though, right? I don't know. Second church is probably never, never actually useful. <coughs> oh, no, Harold! Harold can't hit here this turn. All right, well, I never get a Harold hit. That's fine. He's drawing deck. I'm in a weird spot still. Should I count my money? I've trashed one copper, is that it? And I've exiled a copper? So I have five coppers in my deck? Plus the pawns? Hmm. I don't know. Plaza's okay at some point, too. Plaza's probably better than Herald at this point, I think. Um. Destriers are. Well, I guess the only really nice thing about Destriers is that they are, um. Displace food. The Herald there is weird to me. I don't know why you want the Herald. Take like a second Displace, right? I don't know. Whatever. Herald's fine. Top decking things. I'll trash. I do trash a copper here, right? I think so. I'm not going to count it out that hard. I'm um, just talking copper now. So, I don't know. I don't think this order matters too much. Maybe it does a little bit. Okay. Um. 
I'm just playing the scrying pool, right? Okay, well, I guess I'm drawing deck. Well, what's my last two cards? What did he toss? Um. Where's the scrying pools? Discards a herald, discards a pawn. I could just leave the herald pawn up there, actually, right? Um. The only reason I want to draw here is I get an extra coin out of it. Does the extra coin do all that much for me? Uh, let me just count real quick. So, five, six, seven. I kind of want to buy, like. I don't know. I kind of want to buy a plaza this turn. I guess with six, I could do, like, plaza scrying pool. So maybe that's fine. Five, six, seven. Um, but then I couldn't displace a copper if I did that, right? Shoot, I would need to draw the copper to do, to do all that. If I wanted to displace a copper into pawn and buy Plaza Scrying Pool. Unless I want to displace the potion instead and just not get more Scrying Pools. I think one more Scrying Pool is fine, though. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. I can also just take a displace right now, right? The problem if I take a displace right now... What if I displaced a pawn into a plaza? And then I took, um... Like, Scrying Pool... Something. No, I think I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this. It's fine. Alright, um... Pawn for action coin. Pawn for action buy. What if I displace the Herald instead, actually? I don't think I want to do that. And then pawn for action coin. Um, that's seven. I'd have six, so if I can take Plaza Scrying Pool Pawn right now, I think that's fine. Um, I could also take, like, Scrying Pool Destry, but I don't want to do that. I want the Plaza, I think, pretty... I think the Plaza does like, a lot of work here for me. Um, let's me do some fun game and play stuff, which I rather like to do. His heralds are... No, I'm not sure if they're hitting more or less than average. It's hard to tell. They're probably hitting average then. I think at this point we're just both drawing deck, right? Probably. We're close to it. What's the, um... What do I lead on here? Do I lead on Herald? Or do I, like... Well, no, what's my discard? I have two things into I guess I can try to play Herald into the discard, right? Although if I play Herald first, I draw that I draw that copper for sure. Doesn't that doesn't that mm, isn't Herald first better for overall draw? On average? I think Herald's first is better for draw on average. Cause I definitely draw the copper with the Herald instead of trying to draw it with Scrying Pool, right? Mmm, that sounds about right. It's a little unclear. Also, I'm like really far behind, aren't I? Maybe I might be pretty far behind here. But I think there's a lot of game left. The only thing that's annoying is if my Herald hits Displace, right? Like, I don't want my Herald hits... I guess I can Displace the Potion, though. I think four Scrying Pools is enough Scrying Pools. So maybe Herald... Maybe hitting Displace right now is fine. It's probably fine. This game's also really close to over, I think, in terms of piles. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just displace potion to displace if I hit it. I guess the awkward thing with Despair is only the first one can get turned into a province, right? <laughs> then the then the cost goes down. I wonder if Explorer's any good here. Gain golds displacing the provinces? That might actually be pretty good. I'll consider getting an Explorer at some point in this game. The game might be over before I care about that, though. Also, Bandit does that without me having to have a province in hand, so maybe that's just better. I don't know. I'm just going to draw my deck and then figure out the rest. Alright, Pawn is just going to be card action? Or is it going to be, like, action... Um... Is it, action? is it card action? Or is it, like, action something else? Let's do card action. So, Scrying Pool, Top Deck, Discard. Scrying Pool, Top Deck, Discard. Why am I drawing so bad here? 
This last scrying pool will draw a deck, right? Because that's all my non that's all my stop cards. Um, I don't think I want to play like the plaza first here. Right? No, I don't. Top deck, discard. Okay, let's consider my options. I can displace. I can displace a church into a thing. I can displace the potion. Do I even want this other scrying pool? I think four is enough. Maybe displace potions and displace right now. Play plaza. Displace. I guess I could do both the potion and the church this turn. I'm definitely displacing potion to displace. Then I'm playing the plaza. Am I discarding this copper? I mean, it's a little bit in the way. I know it's not. I, play, I don't want to play the. I want to save the scrying pool though, don't I? So I don't think I want to discard unless I want to have to spend an extra coin to just draw with pawn, which is okay. If I displace church to displace, um, I can draw it with a pawn. I can turn my other one here to a copper. How many gains is that? That'll be three gains. Okay, let's not discard. I, I want the actions here. So I'm just going to displace church into displace. Pawn for card action. So these, these will cost three, right? So if I want three buys, it'll cost three, four, five, six. So that doesn't work, though. I only have four coins. I would need an extra gain, actually. Shoot. Um, whatever, it's fine. Just take action, buy, and pawn for action coin gives me five coins, which is like pawn destry save, right? Action coin. We're not in risk of like piling out here, are we? He would need like a second thing to get scrying pools off. I don't think he can do that. Um, I wonder if he can displace scrying pool. I wonder if he can win if I take too many pawns here, actually. That's a bit of a concern. He has two displaces. I don't think he can pile on that. I mean, you can displace scrying pool to scrying pool. Okay. Buy the scrying pool. Okay. Um, one, two, three. He has four pawns. So if you get enough draw there, we'll have the herald stacks. You definitely get a bunch of destries. I don't think he can. I think I take one pawn here. But I'm not going to take a second pawn. Right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save this and pick up the Destry. I don't think he can win off this. Um, it's a little close, but like, I don't know. If I really wanted to count it all out, I guess I could. Cop uh, Herald missing is good. Herald hitting is bad. Hmm. I guess the question is if he has the actions for it on, like, Displace Chains. So if too many Heralds miss, then he's not going to have enough actions for it. But at this point, it's hard for Heralds to miss, isn't it? I don't know. There might be a win here. Um, well, Destrier Province is probably not how you win. Okay, Harold's missing is definitely good. Also, it's weird to... It's weird to... Why would you put the province in the shuffle? Like, I don't... That doesn't make any sense to put the province in the shuffle. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, you do it after you've drawn, right? I don't know. It's fine. Um, yeah, now he can do a bunch of display stuff, which is pretty strong. And this last Harold hand can't hit here, which is fine. I have a Harold in discard, which means this Harold's gonna be a little sad. I guess I'm at the point where I need to start considering if I can win on my turn. It's pretty hard. It seems impossible. It seems impossible to win on my turn. Especially if the score if I have to score like two provinces to do it, it definitely seems impossible. Um man, this is a this is a tough end game.
Gotta get that explorer going, huh? Also, explorer is probably just worse than another place, right? <laughs> In terms of getting provinces. Eh, maybe, maybe it's not. But I think it is. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna even think that hard about a win unless he somehow lowers piles like a thousand percent here. I don't think I'm gonna even think about the win because I two two strong pulls is already really hard to do because I don't already have a potion, which means I guess I could displace into a potion and buy two of them since I'll have two potions. That sounds um. That sounds unreasonable. Eight desperators is not happening. The pawns, maybe like pawns and heralds, but then I would need to figure out how to get. A province. Also, I don't know. If he, what if he buys us? If he buys a scrying pool here, maybe it's a little easier actually, because I can just displace into one scrying pool. Explorer. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> I don't think it's explorer is better than this place, to be honest. But maybe. Bison gains a copper? Really? Oh, I guess it's worth a desperator. Okay, sure. Alright, like, what does a win look like here? Or a tie, even. Tie gets me- I province I can get with just at one displace. Scrying pull I can get with a second displace. But I can't get a third action because my herald isn't discard right now, which is a travesty. Okay. Hold on, let's- hold on. I can do it if I draw herald off this plaza, right? Oh, well, easy game. Easy game. Um, do I discard a copper? I guess I do, right? Like, this Shrine Pool's gonna draw a copper, for sure. Um, I don't see any reason not to discard the copper. I gotta consider how to win this game. Now, don't I? Two pawns, a Shrine Pool, a Province, and four Heralds. Or maybe four Displaces is easier, but I don't have the terminals to, like, chain Displaces. I don't think I can do that. Because I would need to spend two displaces gaining Scrying Pool Province. I don't see how that happens. Unless I have... Maybe I have enough pawns I can do it and just get Destriers instead? I mean, I think I'm just discarding a Copper. I don't see any re Like, is there any reason not to discard Copper here? I don't see one. Um... Oh, no! I forgot the history was there! Shoot! <laughs> why did I think... Why did I forget I needed that Destrier to not get hit by Herald? Shoot! Um, can I still actually win? <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay, hold on. Um... Well, I would need to score points then, which is a lot harder to do now without a Destrier into province. Unless I displace... Like... Displace, and then displace... No, that doesn't work at all. Hold on. Oh my god, this is so complicated. I have five pawns, right? Let's do some math. I could displace the pawn into Herald. I could displace a pawn into Herald. Or I could displace pawn into Herald. Shoot. I could displace pawn to Herald, draw it. But then there's no way to make... I, I got the Herald to activate. Can I ever make a Herald activate here? Oh my god. There's no way I can win from this position, right? Okay, the win looking for wins, I think, is silly. There might be a win here if I thought, like, for ages about it. But I don't really feel like thinking for ages. So let's just consider better things. Man, that's stupid Herald. I really wanted to... Meh, it's fine. So if I don't want to do all that, I don't want to lower piles at all. Because that sounds super duper dangerous. But also, he just wins on his turn? Which also sounds super duper bad? I don't know. Mm, he has fewer pawns than me. I guess that's a consideration. I can't buy a province. Okay, what's the best I can do here? I gotta be really, 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 really careful. Um, maybe I displace one displace into a gold or something. And then I draw it. I can displace that gold into a province. I'm just really action limited. Maybe I need to do displace. Let me do one. I don't know if this works or not. I'm not going to bother counting out that hard, though. Displace you into you. 
cool. Um, I guess we can draw it. Top deck, discard. Um, we're going to displace... Um, displace the... But this doesn't work at all. What was I thinking? This doesn't actually work. Um, shoot. Displace the... I can't displace the plaza now, either. This is not action... This is action bad. Bad actions. Oh, shoot. This doesn't work at all how I thought it was going to. Well, forget it. I'm just going to displace this up into a... Gold. I'm going to play the plaza. I will discard you, at least. Um... I can at least draw one of these copper, it's fine. Discard you. Uh, pawn for coin buy. Pawn for action. What? How much money is this? Six, seven, eight, nine, maybe eleven? I want to spend one to save. I want a province. And I want to avoid other things. All right, I don't think I can do anything other than action coin. Action coin. I think I cost myself a coin, actually. I don't know why I took the extra buy. I can't do anything with the extra buy. That was silly. My bad. 10, 11, 12 doesn't let me... I guess I can take a Destrier, right? I can do, like, province Destrier save. I don't think, um... I don't think this is particularly strong the line I took. Um, <laughs> I think I miscounted. I thought I had one more action than I did, but then I did stupid things. So, this is the world we currently have. I probably lose anyway, but I don't think... Unless I won that turn, I was. I felt like I was probably going to lose regardless. Then again, this is a really bad start for him. Um, oh my god, what?! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what? <laughs> How did he not... Wait, didn't he save? I thought he saved uh, something. Man, not saving Scrying Pool looks really bad at this juncture, doesn't it? Okay, this I feel like I, could, I can win. Top deck, discard. Um. <sighs> shoot, I, I can't get my Heralds to hit now, can I? Unless my plazas find heralds, I can't get heralds to hit. So what's what's the win here look like? I mean, displace gold into province is all the points I need. And then it's just a matter of draining piles. I can displace a scrying pool into a scrying pool. Um, I can play all my pawns for um, buys. So I can gain destriers. I think this should win without too much issue. I think I might as well just play plaza now, though. All right, discard a copper. I don't know if I need the money or not, but I'm going to draw it all anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. All right, discard a copper. Uh, we have to play the Herald, which does hit a Displace, which is exactly what I wanted. So, I'm going to go... What's the order here? Is it just, like, Scrying Pool to Scrying Pool right off the bat here? I'm going to... Well, I could also do um, Destrier to Province instead, and that keeps me a gold. Which maybe I do need to do that just to keep... Um, I don't need the Destry to draw here, right? So probably just Destry to Province is better. And then... I guess I just play the Scrying Pool f now. Discard. Discard. Um, now I gotta play... It's Copper down there. Just play the Destry now. Um, oh my god, I don't have a third displace. I got rid of my other displace. Shoot. Do I need that? Um, maybe. Let me think for a second. I can displace the province into a displace. That can be two displaces. I can, I can play them both, which means I can displace scrying pool to scrying pool. I can displace copper to pawn. Um, and I have five pawns, which gets me five buys. Is that enough buys? If I go Displace Province to Displace, I go Scrying Pool there, mm -hmm. I'll have six pawns, which is six buys, which is enough to win, right? So I need to Displace Province 
into Displace, discarding those from Exile. Scrying Pool can draw up, hopefully. Um, I can Displace Copper to Pawn. That gets me both Pawns back, which gets me six, seven gains, which is enough for... Actually, oh, that's one extra gain, too. So Displace... I guess, like, Province to Pawn is better. Um, discard those from Exile, Scrying Pool, Top Deck, Discard, and... Oh my god! No! No, 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 I was supposed to just play this I didn't mean to- I didn't want to play the Scrying Pool. I wanted to play the- Oh god, that never worked anyway. Oh my god, what have I done? I, um... Hmm... Is this salvageable? Shoot! Oh no! I made a... I made a tactical error, we'll call it. Um, I made a, I guess I would have had to play the pawns for draw instead, which means I wouldn't have the, had the buys. Shoot, why am I such a, I'm so dumb. Oh my god. The, the mistakes, all match, all, all season, I've been playing so bad. Okay, can I win from this, from this position? Like, I can't get the scrying pool ever, which means I would need, like, the dis... <laughs> ah, shit. Why am I so dumb? Why am I so, so dumb? Someone needs to explain how I'm, how I'm like, this bad at Dominion sometimes. Um. Oh my god. Can I win this? Can I drain Heralds? There's no way this wins. Um. That's only seven, eight gains at most. So, technically, like... Destriers, no, I guess it'd have to be Displace Herald Pawn, um, which would cost me 10, and that cost me way too much. Yeah, I obviously can't do that. How am I so dumb at the, oh my god, someone, someone needs to like yell at me. I'm just like, oh my god. Okay, let me think about what I'm doing here. Eight gains at most, the only possible, possible path to piling here would be Displace Herald Pawn. Um... There must have been a line here that wins. And I just, like, botched it horribly. Okay, I'm positive there's a line here that wins. Um, I can displace, like, the gold into displace, but it doesn't do anything. Because that's actually not even that good in economically. Um, I'm not taking all the destriers. That's terrible. I'm just going to maximize my points. Can I just do gold to province by province? Is it dangerous for me to leave three provinces in there? Um, He doesn't have a gold. He doesn't have the, the expand, though. Shoot, is it... How dangerous is taking two provinces here? Probably really dangerous. So let's not take two provinces. Instead, let's take one province? Sure, let's take one province and a duchy, maybe. So let's go. Action. I guess I need a coin. Action and a buy. How many destriers do I want to take? Probably not that many. Just because I gotta be careful on piles here. I'm such a dumb freaking idiot. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Um, what is this? If I save this pawn, that's seven, eight, nine, which is lets me save pawn, gives me eight left, which is like duchy, duchy destry. I wonder if saving copper is better. Saving copper might be better than save pawn, right? Hmm, maybe. Maybe save copper is better than save pawn. I doubt it. Do not discard those from exile. Five um, is I need to save, which is six, which gets me duchy. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I can save those coffers. Okay, well, I am um, really super dumb. Like, very dumb. There was absolutely a line in that one. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I just, like, I, I blinked on the fact that I had to save my last grind pool. Oh, boy. Good times. This is the sort of high-level play you can expect from Jaunts this season. High-level play. Never making mistakes. Always doing exactly what needs to be done. 
never missing a beat. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if the line was, when I first displaced off the Herald hit, it was, if that was displaced um, spool to spool, and then instead of displacing the Destrier, I just end up displacing the Gold instead. Because I can play the Destrier to draw the extra pawns. I'm, I'm positive that was the play. Like, that line absolutely would have won. Um, I'm like 99% sure. So, yep. Hindsight. Hindsight. I wonder if he wins here or not. It's not easy for him to win here. But it's certainly not impossible for him to win here. Well, I should say I don't know if it's impossible for him to win here. It seems like it's possible for him to win, but uh, I'm not 100%. But, like, it takes two provinces, which is not trivial, especially if you're trying to drain. And the piles would be, like, displace, scrying, pull, pawn. Those, pa those piles are all really low. You can chain displaces. He has the actions to chain displaces because his heralds, at least, um, well, the two of them missed, actually. His heralds have been hitting a lot worse than expected, I think. So maybe with two heralds missing, he's not quite there on the actions? Possibly. Um, if he doesn't win here, I believe I win. I guess I could still dud, but it seems unlikely. I'm just like... It feels likely that he can win here. Let's see, four actions. I don't think Harold's hit anymore. Does he have any more Harold's? No, he's out of Harold's. Um, so like, what's the, he has, but he has three, three displaces in hand, plus the Destrier. He has, he definitely has a Destrier and Displace in hand. So let's say you Displace Destrier to Province, cool. Um, you do get to, he has a Province, in hand, so you can get the gold off the explorer, right? So he can he can displace into two provinces already. Um, if you use your third displace, how do you use your third displace? I guess you can displace. Um, I don't think there's a good use of the third displace. You can't you can't he can't get a third displace off the provinces, right? Because you can only displace one destrier. And he doesn't have another gold to uh, to to go up, so he can't actually get four provinces, right? Unless he has um, sixteen coins and two buys, which seems impossible. So I think the only way he wins is if it's off of two provinces plus plus piling, which means that two of the destrier or two of the places have to use on gold destrier, um, which takes two more actions. So two more actions get used on those. Um, which means if you want to d chain displaces, you can do it, but it's a little difficult. You only play two more displaces, right? So let's say you displace your other two provinces down into displaces. Then there's only one displace, and you would only need 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 3 buys to drain piles up to that. Which seems doable, actually. Um... Although I don't actually know if he has 11 coins, because he won't have the gold from the Explorer. So maybe the 11 coins isn't there, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Interesting. Um, exiling the Duchy suggests to me that... I guess we can exile the Duchy into, like... Plaza? Well, the exiling into Plaza doesn't actually net you actions, right? Because you still have to... Like, you're, you're, you're burning a Displace to play a Displace, right? Oh no, not my Herald! I need that. Um... Yeah, the Plaza doesn't net actions on, like, the turn you gain it. So that doesn't help, like, lower piles. So he still has to find a Province... He can still play two displaces. Well, now you can only play one displace, because that's your last action. So I don't see any way he wins here now, right? I'm not actually sure there was ever a line that actually won from him. But I'd be interested if there was. It seems close. I 
As long as I know Dud here, I think I can win pretty easily, right? I can... Well, can I? That's actually not 100% clear that I can win here. Hmm. I can take three provinces, all right? I can displace gold province to gold, get my gold back, and spend two displaces on gold to province and buy province. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can win here if I draw um, without too much effort. Because drawing's not a guarantee, but I do have at least four cards more I can see. So as long as I find a scrying pool, I'm okay. I'm so mad I missed a win. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe I didn't miss a win. I'm pr almost like 99% positive that I missed a win, though. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing any, any line here that wins right now from this position. Well, hold on, maybe Destriers does it? He doesn't have enough game. He only has, like, three pawns, right? So his buy situation is actually not even that good. Okay, well, yeah, that's not going to win. So let's just draw here and win, and I'll be happy. I'm assuming he doesn't take a province here, because that makes it even easier for me. I assume he takes a du I mean, Dutch doesn't really do anything, though. So, like, I don't know what he's supposed to actually buy here. Nothing seems like it does anything. Maybe take plazas? Like, two plazas, that might actually just be the buy. I could see two plazas being okay. Um, because, basically, he needs me to dud, and he needs to add cards to the deck that make him win if I dud. Um, and silver is not that card. Alright, Destrier. Okay. I guess I leave him plaza? Do I discard or no? I don't think I'm going to bother discarding, just because it's an extra card to draw at the end of the shuffle. And I don't think I need the coffer to hit 8, right? With all my pawns, I can hit 8 without it, so let's just not discard. Okay, that's, that's going to be game. I don't think there's any way I miss from this position. Maybe? Okay, never mind. I was saying it was going to be game. Okay, last, there's a, there's a pause down there, there's a thing down there still, okay, this is fine. Um, so, I guess I'm gonna play the Destrier first here. Herald should definitely hit, right? So I think what I do is I play Displace now, then I play the Herald. Um, this has to be a win. So I Displace... Province. I guess I can go like duchy to. Does it matter if I go duchy or prob? Not really. Just go to gold. Exile duchy to gold. Discard from exile. Play the herald now. Um, I have eight coins in hand, even without the golds, right? But I do actually need. I don't need the extra action, do I? Because I just need to displace two times in the golds. Like I, I displace the two golds. I don't need the third action. So I just take card. Um, coin, I guess. Right, because I don't need... I don't need... Let me just double-check I don't actually need... Whatever, I can see card action is fine. Card action is fine. Um, I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 coins. I would have to take card action, it's fine. I hit the plot, the scrying pool. Um, I guess I'm going to play... doesn't really matter, right? I'm going to draw all this anyway. So, plaza, we can, sure, discard a copper for fun. We get to play this scrying pool, top deck top deck. We get to go pawn for action coin, pawn for action coin, pawn for action coin, pawn for action coin, uh, displace gold into province, sure, displace gold into province, pawn for coin buy, and spend out those coffers, buy myself the province. Alright. Cool, I won a game. I don't know if I deserve that win. I missed a win, which means I probably didn't deserve it, but... Uh, that that dud by Swordfish Trompone was, like, massive. Um, obviously, that was, like, the big reason I even got ahead at the end. I'm wondering if, like, he should have just... Um, because I, I, like, I really would assume that you just save your, save, like, your extra scrying pool. 
but I guess he needed to play it for some reason? I don't know. I went second there, right? Cool. That's a good board to win on. Butterfly! Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. It's in a book. Take a look. Um, this board looks like Scrying Pool again, I guess. It's a little junkier because there's not a uh, nice thinning. I guess, uh, Salvager's fine enough, though. It's just like Silver Salvager open. I guess so. I guess there's some thought like Merchant Salvager and I can Butterfly the Merchant. Eh. It's not Lone, right? Like Lone Salvager? I don't think it's Lone Salvager. I doubt it's Lone Salvager, right? Eh. I want to get a potion like pretty soon. Lone trips up on potions. I have stables to deal with copper anyway. So it's not like a huge deal. Commerce. Huh. Butterfly. I think it's Silver Salvager. <sighs> I'll stick Silver Salvager. I'm not gonna go loan. Screw loan. I am debt free. All right. Debt free is the way to be. Ooh, this is this is a pretty easy stables, right? Um. Cool. I think this is seller at this point. It's just merchant actually. Probably just merchant at this point. Rip. Oh, your your debt has come to bite you. Um, do I stop here? My next hand, my next hand is Salvager Estate 3 Coppers, which is pretty good. I have this, like, thing in my head where I just turn Merchant into a potion and buy stables. Is that, that sounds okay, actually. What's the upside of drawing here? I guess I trigger the shuffle. Which is maybe better. I probably just am okay triggering the shuffle, right? There's also the upside if I find Salvager now, it's quite good. The downside of, is if I find a state now, it's quite bad. Um, I kind of do want a potion though. I think this is fine. Butterfly, return for potion, buy stables. I can't wait to stables, dud. It's gonna be super fun. Um, I wonder if this is Worker's Village or Bazaar? instead of another stables. Mm, I think I like the workers village actually. I don't know, is that crazy? That's kind of crazy not to just take a third stables right now, I think. <laughs> Never mind, I'll take a third stables. I'm yeah, well, don't don't be don't be too fancy. Stables are just good. Um I mean, I can always, like, butterfly them later, right? Like, if, if I'm starting to draw a deck, I can just turn them into... Or I can salvage them, too. Yeah, like, there's... They they start, like... Once I'm drawing deck, I can ignore the... The... The fact that I'll have less treasure in my deck at that point. I think, um... Missing three stables when I'm drawing five out of 14 cards is pretty unlikely. Pretty unlikely. It's not... I mean, not super unexpected, I guess it happens, but it would have been nice if it didn't happen, I guess, was, is what I'm saying. Um, I'll just buy Scrying Pool here, I think. I don't know. I wonder if skipping Potion was reasonable. There's a world in which Potion Skip is reasonable. Hmm. I don't think that world exists on this board, though. Workers build just fine. I think it's a good card. Buys are good, but I have Salvager for buys. All right, I'm going to draw... Am I drawing deck here? I'm getting pretty close to drawing deck right now. Obviously, my Scrying Pool will draw zero cards, so possibly University was better than Scrying Pool, actually, now that I think about it. Because I'm definitely just expecting that the Scrying Pool doesn't draw, and University would at least do something. Possibly Uni is better than Scrying Pool there. I'll take a Uni now. Um, it would have been nice if I didn't have to discard all of the shuffle. Maybe I won't actually draw my deck. Okay, that's fine. Close enough. Uh, top deck the loan, I guess? Okay, I missed the potion. That was the one card I missed was potion. That's, um... Game. We have a chat about about that. That was a little rude. Uh, this is Worker's Village. And... Do I want a fourth stables? I probably do, right? It's so hard to say no to, like, a fourth stables right now. 
So let's not say no to four stables right now. I guess I lead on Scrying Pool here? I don't know. I really wish I had like a university in my deck right now instead of a Scrying Pool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, University right now looks, just look, looks a lot better than Scrying Pool. So, shame on me for thinking Scrying Pool was better than University. Higher education is better than your, your primitive fortune-telling, okay? Real science. Uh, discard. Mmm, I guess we discard that? Play the Worker's Village. Alright, let's see. I have one card in the discard. I got two cards in the discard. I got three cards in the discard. Um, I guess we'll just draw the rest of the deck. I could have left the stables on top. I don't actually. Why didn't I? This is fine actually. Um, I'm getting a university. Okay. So I currently have seven, eight, nine. I could have eight, or I could have ten. Right. Eight gets me scrying pool, workers' village, cellar, which is okay. 10 gets me Scrying Pool, Worker's Village, meh, Merchant, which doesn't work anymore if I trash the silver. Wait, am I miscounting this? 10. Oh no, it starts to be like Scrying Pool doubles Worker's Village. Maybe that's fine. The nice thing about Scrying Pool doubles Worker's Village is... Not, that's why I say Scrying Pool. University doubles Worker's Village. <laughs> that's what I meant. Um, nice thing, nice thing about all that is, I can just turn the workers' villages into other things. I can also do commerce. Um, I wonder if I want, like... Eh, I think the cellar is fine in this deck. I'm just gonna grab Scrying Pool Workers' Cellar. Oh, no, I get it university! I, oh my god! Okay, wait, sorry, I'm gonna... Oh my god, I literally... Corrected myself like three times that turns at university. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I can't think. I didn't want to scrying. Do you think you let me undo? No, it's too late. I should have just like hit undo immediately. I. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't say. Why did I do that? I want the card that does things, not the card that doesn't do things. What is wrong with my brain? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Somebody break my face. I'm sorry. I, I can't even. I can't even right now. I. This is fine. This is all fine, okay? Just scrying pool. Fine. Top deck it fine. I'm just like overdrawn by a million here, so it'd be really cool if I could do like things where I gain cards and play them in the same turn. That would be super sweet. Um, would not mind the ability to do that. I wish I hold on. Is wait hold on. Exactly one more. Okay, I can't I can't butterfly this into into uni. Like this is just. Do I try to set things up? I can try to set up my turn with like a seller. Um, what's my discard? Did he discard things off me? No, because he doesn't... Oh, he does have a scrying pool. I have his stables in my discard, right? So... What I'm gonna do is... Um, I get to sell her... What? Like, copper, copper... And hope I draw the things? Just, like, top deck a... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm hoping... Um, we top deck, top deck, draw, and we're fine, right? So leave the stables on top. Cool. Um, I want a university this turn. Um, I guess I could salvage the silver now. It gets me five, six, seven, eight, which is university merchant, merchant. But then I have to trash a silver to do that. What's just like Uni Merchant? Maybe just Uni Merchant. Oh, wait, hold on. What about University Commerce? That gets me only one gold, though. Okay, I don't want to do that. If I salvage Copper and did like Uni Merchant or something, that's probably fine. 
But you need Salvager. I don't want a second Salvager. I do want more Salvagers, but not right now. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Alright, end actions. We're gonna go ahead and grab University Merchant. <laughs> All right, do I do, um, I'm so, oh my god, I'm just like, so out of it. I need to commerce this turn is the play. So I can gain probably another, un another stables off the university. I'll buy like university commerce or something. Um, I can maybe even turn one of my stables into a gold. That gives me an extra gold as well. Uh, there's a lot of play here. I don't think bazaars are very good on this board. Maybe eventually they're fine. I don't think getting I don't think getting your stables or your salvager is very good either. Trashing gold seems really good. I kind of want more salvagers actually. Yeah, if anything, more salvagers sounds better. I cannot believe I freaking freaking. Stupid things. All right. This is going to be a really long match, isn't it? Is it my fault? I always ask this question. Because it always feels like turns take longer when you're watching the other player play them. But I'm sure my turns aren't, like, quick. Um, I mean, it takes a lot of time to think about buying university in the buying strike pool, so... Can't do that all right in a row. You know, just like that. Hmm. How many... I think it's to Merchant, that's fine. How many, um... How many golds do I want this turn? I guess, like, a bunch, right? I feel like I want a bunch of golds. Is three a bunch of golds? Is four a bunch of golds? Maybe three golds is fine. I have this merchant. I do like merchant to salvager. Uni for a stables. Uh, he, he, I guess regaining, regaining your uh, salvager now is probably fine. I assume, he's, I assume that this is going to be a commerce. I should be further ahead than I am. But I'm not. Because I'm dumb. Both scrying pools were dumb. The first one was maybe a little bit less dumb. The second one was just a completely waste of waste of a buy. Workers Village, really? I mean maybe that's fine. I don't know. All right, this has to be commerce, right? Like, uni commerce. Feels like it has to be commerce. I guess I wouldn't mind getting the last two stables. Five golds? That might be too many golds, actually. That might be too many golds. Um, I guess we just play workers first. Does it matter? I don't know. Maybe it does matter. Um, I'm just playing scrying pool now. Hey, look at that. Scrying pool found a card. This scrying pool might find a card, too. Uh, I guess we leave the gold on top, right? Hey, look at that! Scrying pool drawing like a like a champion. So I'm gonna university for one staples. I'm going to consider my options. I want to, I don't want to lose this workers village. Um, because I do want to play with like a bunch of stuff here. All right, I'm at one unique card gained. I'm gonna salvage something. I'm gonna do other things with something. I could um, I could go merchant to workers, seller to merchant. I guess what I would like to do is buy stables, commerce, university in the ideal world, right? Can I do that? Um, that would cost twelve, which is a lot. Currently, I have four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So it's not even close. Unless I salvage a stables, which would kind of work. I could also just, um, instead of doing it like that, I could just go like salvager stables, merchant salvager. Um, and then I would have uh, five, six, seven, which is what I need actually. Maybe that's better. I do. I just want to get this last stables, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do it like that. Um, I guess I can try to top deck a stables with the seller. So we're gonna go turn you or turn it into a stables. Um, I got a number of cards in my discard. Maybe I don't do it like that. Maybe I just worry about getting the salvager next turn because I don't really need it this turn. Um, I could also just sell her, like, some stuff. Maybe I go Merchant... I don't know. I think I'm okay just playing the Merchant this turn, actually. I don't think I care that much about Trash and Copper. I've gained how many unique cards, actually? Only one. I guess I should do Merchant to Salvager, actually. Okay. And then... What do I discard here? <laughs> how many cards am I discard? Um, one, two, three cards in discard, right? So I can sell her... Stables, stables, copper. No, maybe like just stables, copper. I need to hit seven, which is all my treasure, actually. Hmm. Hitting all my treasure is not super great. All right, I think I don't, I don't know if I get to set up here. Okay, I don't get to set up here. That's fine. Um, wait a second. Hmm. I don't get to trash a copper if I do it this way either, though. Which is a little sad. But it's fine. I could gain, like, a bazaar instead. If I did salvager to bazaar here, that does get me an extra gold. Do I want an extra gold? Eh, probably not. Let's just not worry about it. Just have seven and be fine about it. Um, eight. Unique commerce. How many golds is this? I gained... What did I gain? I gained Stables, Salvager. It's actually only two, though. It's not even that good. It'll be three. It'll be three golds? Maybe three golds is actually enough golds. I don't, even, I don't need that many golds in this deck. Sure. Let's just do it like this. University Commerce. <clears throat> I don't like the thought of just stopping on golds. I do want more salvagers, though. I'm gonna start dealing with this junk in my deck. Yay, look at that. Good turn for me. Top deck, top deck. Look at these scrying pools, they're so good. Like, I'm just like floored by how great scrying pool is in this deck. <laughs> I think actually maybe I should consider more scrying pools over universities at this point. Um. Sure. I don't want to commerce again, do I? Not this turn. Um, I do want the university for at least one more salvager. And like another workers' village is fine. Maybe Bazaar is better at this point than Workers Village. Probably. Um I could do another salvager. Is three salvagers too many? I don't know, let's think. Um, I'm gonna salvage. No, oh, three salvages is probably not too many, right? Hmm. I do get to salvage a bunch of these coppers, or like the golds instead. I think this works out. I might buy scrying pool commerce something this turn. So let's take the salvager, and I'm going to at least try to top deck a stables. I did not topic a stable successfully. Uh, we're gonna salvage. I don't need silver. How much money is this? 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 and some amount of money. 12 and... Uh, 14, that's a number. So scrying pool commerce costs 7. So that leaves me with five, like, scrying pool. So I can just kill two coppers here and be okay. 
Um, because that'll be nine and two is twelve, which is like scrying pool commerce bazaar, maybe. I could also take a province and start milling them. Um Nah, let's work on provinces next turn, maybe. Scrying pool, bazaar, commerce cost twelve, right? So that's nine. Is bazaar better than workers' village? Unclear. Probably. I don't think I need buys for anything. Um, I guess I could salvage a gold instead and buy province. Let's worry about provinces next turn. Wait, did I miscount my money? I thought I counted 12. Scrying pool. I guess I can take a province. <laughs> or I could take, like, workers' villages. Or, like, how many golds do I want? I don't want that many golds. They do get in the way a little bit. I'm at, currently at two different uniques. So what if I took, like, Bizarre Merchant Commerce? That takes three golds. Um, which is probably fine. Is Seller better than Merchant, actually? I think there's a rule in which Seller is better than Merchant. Um... Hmm, unclear, actually. Merchant can turn to a Salvager, though, which is better than... All right, it's fine. Four golds it is. I have seven gold in my deck. Oh my god, don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. No! No! I can't handle this table's done right now. <laughs> don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. I have so many treasure in my deck. No, don't discard my Seller. I need that. Wait, top take a treasure. Oh my god. If I draw stables here, I'm going to be... <laughs> Don't you dare stable stud. <laughs> the odds of stables that are so low in this deck. I have seven, eight, I have 12 treasures, right? <laughs> and like very few other stop cards other than stables. <laughs> oh my god, if I find like salvager or stables, this is gonna be hysterical. <laughs> okay, yes, 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 discard that university. Get out of here. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Oh my god. This is this is high tension. The stakes are so high right now. This is wow. You weren't ready for this high octane match. <laughs> is it really Oh my god, this is game two. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna be here forever. We are never leaving this we're never leaving this spot. Oh my god. Do not do not dud on me. Please, for the love of God, do not dud on me. Oh, I'm so I'm so excited for this. Oh man, this will be this will be the the big one. Moment of truth. Woo! I'm so good at this game. All right. No! No! How did that happen? How did this happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! How did I find this? all of them. I found all my salvagers. I found almost all of them. I hate this game. What do I do? I don't... What do I... Ha, what? What do I do? Do I do anything? I... Do I pass the turn? Do I turn my salvager into a bazaar? Like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do right now. <laughs> I... I'm so peeved off right now. Like... Do I salvage his stables into a... things? Do I just go for, like, Duchy Duke instead of provinces? I don't understand what's happening. I think I just end turn. Holy shit. I think I just end turn. Do I buy a copper? No? Oh my god, that was... Absolutely insane. And that means the rest of my deck doesn't draw, because it's all treasure and no stables. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. <sighs> is St Steph is only... You know what? Every time I have draws like this, Steph is in my voice chat. 
Steph, if you have a talk, let's have a talk, you and me. I know you got the, like, the little dials back there, and you think it'd be really funny if I just did that right there. Y'all having a good laugh in spec chat right now? I know, I understand. I'm there. Um, but like a little help would be fine. Just a little bit. Okay, play the bazaar. Top deck. I wonder if I should have played stables first to get into the shuffle before I played those scrying pools. Like, I assume I should have, actually. Um, well, look at this hand. I'm going to work university for something here, but I think I'm going to not do it into the shuffle. And I stopped. Okay, yep, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Maybe I should have university for a seller, actually. That could have been fine. Uh, I'm going to university for a worker's village. I'm going to salvage this match. Probably not, though. So the rest, I have six, oh my god. I have six stables in those. No, I have four stables. And, like, not very many treasure in there. And um, I'm excited for that dud, for that stop. That's going to be great when I dud again on this. Going to be so great. Um, I'm going to salvage some golds, I guess. Do I just take two provinces? I guess the problem is if he draws, which is not terribly unlikely, he can take like a lot of provinces. What if I just take Duchy Dukes instead of going for provinces? Can he take five provinces with milling? I know he has, he only has two salvagers, right? I have three salvagers. So he can mill two and buy three, right? No, pro well, maybe. He did the commerce, right? No, maybe not. Unclear. Um, I think I'm just going to go for like a bigger turn next turn and not try to take too many things this turn. Um, so I'm going to take uh, four buys, right? I'm going to take one province. And I'm going to take like Worker's Village, Bazaar. Um, I could take Commerce now. I don't think I want more gold in my deck, though. I can't really draw that many gold, can I? That's asking for a lot. Um, I guess piles are also getting low-ish. But he has less pile control than I do. Is this, like, a seller? This could be, like, a seller. Um, maybe this is just seller. Alright, well, those were two really, really stupid turns. I wonder if there was a way I could have improved last turn. It's unclear to me, actually. Like, obviously, just finding more stables at the top of the shuffle would have done it. Um, but, but I mean, like, I don't even. I don't, what do I even say? Like, what do I even say to that sort of turn? <laughs> just like shrug. I don't think it was my fault. If it was actually my fault, someone tell me. It doesn't feel like it was my fault. BR BRB. Okay. Sure. I guess you're the one who's staying up late, right? So, whatever. I do need to do work after this. Um, I mean, this turn might also just stop. I do have four stables down here. So I have three more stables in those cards. So unless I bottom deck... No, I guess I can't find I can't fail to find other other stables, right? I don't know. I can go for a win here. It's not impossible. It depends on how many points he scores. Um, if he gets like three provinces, I'm in trouble. How how good do those scrying pools draw for him? Not that good. Alright. I mean, there might just be a win here, right? There's only four, it's only four workers and four bazaars. That can't be that hard to do, right? Well, he already played the merchant, which means you can't exchange up to a four cost. Um, and his gains aren't actually that good. And he also doesn't have that much more draw. He has like two more stables and that's all the draw left, right? Two more stables, that's all to draw. I don't know if there is a possible win here. Well, there's also the... He has, what, two, 
two unis, right? So two unis gets two cards. You would need six more gains. You can't really butterfly into them, though. So let's say you gain two bazaars off two unis. I don't think the draw exists to cycle back around to those gains. I guess there's a seller, so maybe the seller does enough there. Not sure. Um, I, I wait, hold on. He, I have I have the merchant, right? I do. Okay. So he would still need to find. Um, well, the two salvagers gets two buys. I think he has like one or two workers villagers. There's four buys. It's pretty close on the gains, but I think it's there. But the money would cost quite a bit. I mean, salvager does a decent amount of work. Like salvaging golds would certainly produce some econ. Um, so it would be like, I don't know, the wind might be there. I'm not sure. I, I don't know what those loving cards are. Um, I guess I'll take a BRB also then. Make him resign, if only. Um, last time I was at the store, I bought a container of almonds, and I was looking all over because I couldn't find them. I was like, where are my almonds? Like, I know I bought them. I remember having them in my cart. So I was thinking, maybe did I leave them at the store? I don't know. Um, nope, I put them in my fridge. I don't know why I put them in my fridge, but I'm going to eat, eat myself some chilled almonds right now. Uh, ooh, they are chilly. Great. Mmm. I know it's bad form to eat and talk, but, uh, eh? You can't stop me. I wonder where he went. I wonder if I can undo, like, most of this game. Can I just undo most of this game? And just, like, get a new seed? And also buy university instead of scrying pool? I know it's like, it's really late where Swordfish Trombone is, right? Isn't it, isn't it like midnight or one right now? How are you going to stay up for four more games of this? This has been my slowest match maybe ever. Hmm, anyway, how's chat doing? We all doing good? I just want to have a conversation with, with you all. I'm doing great. I, uh, I'm getting plenty of sleep, well rested, not stressed out at all. That's how my life's going. Um, not a care in the world. Mmm. Hmm. I've been watching, like, Wandering Wonder, Wandering Wonder, uh, videos here. What do we got? Load balancing versus YZX.
Wait, I heard a ding. Was that ding in the in the YouTube or is that my the ding in? No, oh, that was this ding. Okay, we're back. No problemo. University one. Soldier makes me think. Oh, there's not a shrine pool. When do you get three shrine pools? Shoot, I must have missed that. Hmm. Okay, this does trigger a shuffle. With another, this may win still. Oh, I don't think uni, uni for Salvager is to make this win. I mean, I think he has a. He can go for a win. It's maybe possible if he draw into it well enough. Let's see. Let's look for wins. Because he has four Salagers now, right? So you sell her into that. I know there's a seller there still. I assume this just wins. Okay. Um, you sell her into your Salagers. You play Salagers on Salagers. On, like, gold. No, Salagers on, like, golds and stuff. Um, you need to sacrifice a province. If he really wants to, right? Wait, he only has four Salagers. That's only seven games. Which is exactly enough. Okay, never mind. Um, he can sack... Like a potion, you can sack some golds. It only costs you how much to win? Um, what's 7 times 4? 28? 28 seems very, very doable. I assume this just wins. Um, also, isn't there another university? Oh, no, that both were played. Anyway, this just wins. I, um... I think I was in, like, a really commanding position. Uh, right up until the moment that I staples studded. Which was which was pretty rough. This is my first player too, right? Yeah, that's a shame. Oh well, what can you do? I mean, you just toss. Um, he's not a workers' village. It's it's literally just the four salvagers, right? Actually, isn't it even cheaper? Can't you? No, you have to play also all four salvagers for effect because you need to, you can't like trade them up. Um, I don't think he has any other action cards, right? I think there's no other action cards. I don't think there's any Worker's Village in there. It's just the two Salvagers, or the four Salvagers. So, he can just get to the end of the shuffle. I know he has a couple golds at least. So 28 seems doable. Hmm. The problem is, well, I guess the other thing is you can he can salvage the province and go for the tie instead too, right? So salvage province probably gets at least a tie. Or you can salvage province, you can salvage potion. Um, then again, actually, what is in his hand? He doesn't have that many coppers. The loan's already dead. Mm, I guess a silver, right? I, I, I trashed my silver. And some golds. I don't know. How many golds does he have? Three? I haven't trashed a gold, right? I have seven. Five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. He has three golds. Okay. Three golds and a silver. And a potion. And a province. So. And some of them are copper as well. So real quick on the math. You salvage the potion. You salvage golds your highest value targets then. Um, that gets you... Uh, why did that get you? Each gold makes an extra, extra three, right? So you salvage gold, salvage gold, that's 12. That's four, 16. Salvage potion is 20. Um, salvage silver is 23. Mm, salvage something else is probably enough. I don't know, I assume that's enough. Certainly salvage province makes the tie pretty easy. Um, because that's just enough money to easily get all your piles. Not going to the end of the shuffle is bold, right? Because doesn't that risk drawing, like, missing one of your salvagers? Interesting. I assume he calculated... I don't know what's in his hand. I'm assuming cal he calculated something useful that required that required him to not draw to the end. I don't think he has another worker's village, does he? If he has another worker's village, I think this makes it a lot easier. Because with another worker's village, you just salvage the province and buy an estate, and you're fine. But... The province is in the discard right now, so that line is kind of already out of the question.
Alternative another worker's village, you just turn into a bazaar and you take salvagers and bazaars. Hmm. Maybe this doesn't win? I don't know, it seems like it should win. I seem like there's a win here somewhere. Or at least there's definitely a tie here somewhere, I think. That doesn't win. That doesn't win at all. Is three provinces just too much for me to overcome, though? Maybe. How do I score 24 points? Two provinces and four duchies? I can do that. I could also just dud here. Let's find out. Um, just card copper or potion? Probably just copper. Hmm. Do I need to put anything in the discard here? So there's some advantage of putting a cantrip in the discard for scrying pool to find. On the other hand, I don't know if I like I don't know what I want to take with my um with my university exactly, right? Like I, I might want to just a salvager, and it might be better to not do that if I take the salvager. Also I can sell her the university with an extra card of draw if I need to. I think I don't play university, and I just trigger the shuffle. Don't do this to me. Don't stables dud to me. Okay, I think we're fine. So Workers villages can also be duchies, right? So I maybe I don't play them. Mm, it's unclear if I play these workers villages or not. Maybe I play one workers village and see what I draw, or I just stables a, a gold. That's probably just stables a gold is fine. Let's just find myself like um, a scrying pool, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a scrying pool. Top deck. Top deck the gold is fine. That's not what I wanted. Workers. Workers. Shoot. Alright, let me think for a second. I have three salvagers. So, let's assume I salvage three golds. Cool. Salvage three golds. I played all my stables. I can't draw that well anymore, can I? Mmm, shoot. I can also just, like, turn salvagers into duchies. That's also an option. These universities don't do a whole lot for me. I guess I can turn three salvagers into three duchies. And I can just find 16 coins. No, it's would cost more than that, though. Maybe I need to gain some, like, workers' villages off the universities and I can turn them into things? I still have two scrying pools down there, don't I? And, like, a bunch of treasure, though. And a cellar, right? Our second cellar? What if I just draw five off the cellar and I discard all my actions right now? And then I can play the scrying pool into the shuffle? And I try to find as many actions as possible? Like, what does the win here look like? I can, I mean, I have, in hand, four duchies. I need two provinces, which costs a little bit more than I have in hand. Um, but I should be, I mean, I, I feel like I can just win this, right? Let me just touch my math. Like, two provinces is 12, which is me at 18. Four duchies is four times three, um, which is 12. 24 plus 30, plus an estate, right? So I would need 18 coins and to turn three things up there. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to sell her one, two, three, four, five. Keep the university. I'm going to put a worker's village a worker's village into my discard. And I'm going to play the scrying pools into the discard and hope they draw reasonably well. And then I have the seller in there to, to cycle through if they don't. So we go university for a worker's village. Scrying pool. Uh, discard. Top deck. Uh, that's fine. Scrying pool. Top deck. Top deck. That's fine. Get to play the bazaar. Okay. Real quick math here. I have a worker's village down there, right? So that's my duchies. I have a seller down there, too. So if I tossed, let's say, if I cellared away province, potion, university, I have... 
I discarded a gold, right? So my cellar, university, province, potion. I get another gold out of that, which is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's enough coins. And then I get to turn... Yeah, this works, right? One, two, three. And then I get to turn these five into duchies. Nice 15, that's plenty. Uh, and I get to buy myself, province, province. Uh, oh, I took too many points, shoot. Oh well, it's fine. Could have, could have seen some dukes there too. Hey, I found the line. Oof, that was a game and a half, huh? I feel exhausted. I'm like, very tired right now. Like mentally and physically. Alright, enough almonds for now. Sorry for the chewing. I'm not actually sorry, sorry though. That's just a thing people say. When they're not actually sorry. Um ready. I hate Shepard, like, as a concept, I just hate Shepard. It's, um, not really as a concept, I just, it, I feel like I always lose with Shepard. I just do not know how to play it, even a little bit. I've never figured Shepard out. Shepherd out. There's no trash in here. I guess, well, dismantle trash is okay. Haunted Woods interacts very interestingly with Shepard, because on the one hand, I like to start turn draw with Shepard. On the other hand... Top decking green cards is interesting. Do I want to open with a five cost here? I doubt it. I can't imagine it being worth a curse. I guess I open like what I like Shepherd Dismantle. The problem with Dismantle is I don't want to trash my estates, and Dismantle Trash Coppers is just dumb. I could open like Desperation into. I don't know, like a falconer maybe? Is falconer worth a curse? I can imagine a world where falconer is worth a curse. So open like Shep Falconer. Hmm. This may be fine. I guess if I'm opening falconer, I should do it now because if he opens falconer, I don't want to buy it when he's shuffled and has a chance of triggering the falconer, right? So. Is Falconer really worth a curse here? I have no idea. It seems fine. I don't think Dismantle's all that good. I'm gonna almost Shep. And it's gonna be great when I Shepherd just finds the curse. The super awesome curse. Um, Ranger? Ranger's fine too, I guess. Um... Not exactly what I was hoping for, but this is maybe fine. I'll take another Shepherd and an Estate, maybe? Um, I can Alms again. I'll just Alms for, uh... Something? I don't want a third Shepherd. That's a lot of Shepherds. I could take a Ranger. I could just start taking Estates. With all of my Sheps. Um, there's also a world where I just take Ranger, and I pair, play with a pair of Rangers as well in this deck. Which is fine. Sure. I think that I think that's this world right now. Um, I'm gonna alms for this trash is the estate. Ooh, that's spicy. We're skipping Shep draw, huh? Might be fine. I'm not sure it's good, but it might be fine. I wonder if CV draw is actually okay here. Like you could like dement dismantle and curse village stuff. I can see a world in which that's okay. But I don't actually know what I'm doing on this board, actually, to be to be perfectly honest. But I guess that's par for the course, right? Just wing it, hope something works out. Um, I'm gonna alms. I don't want three shepherds. It's a lot of shepherds with that lot of actions. Maybe just take a state right now. This state's fine. Um, maybe I take silver right now as a falconer. 
I can buy myself a, like a cursed village. That doesn't seem very good. Inn? Maybe inn's okay. Excuse me. Hunting party, maybe? Maybe hunting party. I think I'm taking a silver and a five cost, though. Um, hunting party has the nice advantage of finding things, I guess. Sure, I'll take a hunting party. This shepherd will draw two cards. Hmm. I can envision a world in which Shepard is just not the thing to do here. Ah, that's fine. Okay, I'll go ahead and alms for one more Shepard. Um, hoo hoo hoo, Shepard draw! That's what I'm talking about. Woo! I need an inn, though. Or maybe Royal, maybe Royal Carriage is better than inn. Royal Carriage might be better than inn. Royal Carriage is cool with Ranger, right? I also want to start trashing copper, um, but I need actions to do that because I want to be playing. I want to. I don't want to like buy a dismantle. I just want a falconer for a dismantle. Um, I guess we're playing the hunting party first. Am I playing hunting party first? I guess so. Okay. Well, we're doing this. We're doing this. Come on, something. And falconer, sure. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for, to be perfectly honest. This might be like. I need the in this turn, right? Because I have for sure a ranger there. So I want to make sure I can play the ranger for fun. I can take a ranger right now. Just so I have two rangers. That has some appeal to me, taking ranger right now. Ranger in. And I'll shuffle in ranger in in. It's fine. That seems fine, actually. Let's we'll go take the in. Shuffle in. The in. I was thinking I could shuffle in the ranger, but that's not how, um... That is not at all how, uh... How uh, Falconer works. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this combo Ranger in thing is maybe fine for a draw. I guess I want a pair of Haunted Woods on this board as well, just so. <sighs> I guess I don't want that many inns. Royal Carriage does what in does a little bit better. I probably only buy inns for like the for the on play effect. And otherwise I buy royal carriages. I guess I start with the in here pretty clearly, right? So we go ahead and play... Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to play the ranger now. I'm going to play the... Sh I'll play the hunting party now. I'm just going to toss... Just three cards? If I toss four cards, I'm going to, like, draw into a really bad shuffle, right? So just toss three. Um. Oh, yeah. I forgot another shepherd. Shoot. That's fine. Um, how much money is this? Seven? Huh, Royal Carriage is dual type, right? Okay, so I play this. I play my money. I take a Royal Carriage. Reacting with Falconer to gain a Shepherd? Do I want another shepherd? Mm. Or like a. S s do I want to dismantle now? Not really. One more shepherd's probably fine. I guess you also found your falconer? What a jerk. Um, I could desperation for a four cost, which I'm not going to do. Well, game. We've come to the problem with shepherd decks worth no trashing. We have discovered the Achilles heel of what I'm trying to do. Uh, and that is the complete inconsistency. I sure would like... I guess I'm just almsing for like a mistake here. How many states do I want in this deck? Maybe I just almsing for dismantle now, actually. I guess almsing for dismantle now is probably fine. I can just thin one curse slash copper at a time for the next seven turns. Eight turns? Seven turns. I have a pasture. Um, on the plus side, I guess I do uh, get a royal carriage on the mat. So that's something, I guess. I'm not super concerned with Haunted Woods, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure if that helps me or hurts me, to also be perfectly honest. Um, to be perfectly dishonest, the earth is flat. 
So we're going to stop right here, right? And we're going to alms something. I guess I take the dismantle now. Sure. Uh, we certainly lead within here, hoping to find more green. Hmm. Why is he finding Shepherd and three green cards? That's a little rude, isn't it? Haunted Woods is... I don't think it's the worst, I, worst thing in the world for me. I can live with the attack. The attack might occasionally be helpful, too. So we're going to play Ranger. I'm not going to call Roll a Carriage on the Ranger. Um, Hunting Party doesn't do all that much, does it? I guess I'll play it. Do I call Carriage on the Hunting Party? I need to play Carriage on a non-terminal. Um, but maybe the better one is Shepherd. I have... What did I discard there? Nothing. There's like a bunch of green cards down there, right? So I think I can do it like this, right? Wait, hold on. What did I just do? Wait, what did I just do? Did I just hit end? Hold on, undo. Sorry, I I just ended my action phase. Like, like just play the shepherd. Yeah, I don't know why I ended my action phase there. Um, And we can... Well, I guess we can play the shepherd here first before I decide to call Royal Carriage, right? All right, call him. I can play this shepherd too. I guess I wanted to try to avoid um, top decking too many green, but top decking a few green is maybe fine. I don't know. Let's play the shepherd. Discard this nonsense. Um, I'm gonna call royal carriage, and I'm gonna. Oh, I guess I can just top deck the shepherd with it too, right? Yeah, let me just call royal carriage. And I'm just gonna discard just one estate, right? Yeah, yeah, that works pretty well. Um, now, Ranger's got to get played. And Dismantle has to trash a curse. And then all this happens. Falconer reacts on gain, right? So, when any player gains a card, this is on... Oh, no! Oh, no, Falconer! Falconer goes on top. I can't actually... Um... Oh, interesting. Falconer goes on top. I can't, uh, I can't react in time. Oh, well, it's fine. I'll live. So, it's a little sad that I didn't get to play that one. I want, um, maybe a second inn is fine over another royal carriage. So I could do in something in a state of state, maybe. Um... Innocent Estate has some merit. Royal Carriage is also fine. Does a lot for me. Maybe just Royal Carriage is better. Hmm, sure. I take a Royal Carriage. I don't get to react to the Falconer. Um, I'm going to take two Estates. I'm not sure if it's actually better to... Mm, I don't know, I gotta think about it more. I'm just putting a bunch of green cards into the shuffle, so maybe a Shepherd was better than the two Estates. That might be the case. Because I, I have a lot of green cards in this shuffle, so if I don't find the good stuff, I'm in trouble, right? Maybe the inn was actually just a lot better. The inn might have just been a lot better, actually, now that I consider my my life more. Just to guarantee I get two more cards of sifting. And I don't need to find the royal carriage before I find, like, more shepherds. Hmm. You know what? Uh, oh, actually, this is cool. Um, I'm going to react with you to gain a... Shepherd, right? Sure. I would have gained a state probably if I had the option, but not an option. He can't like win here, right? There's no third pile. Okay, it was fine. I don't know if the Hunter Woods help or hurt. Or help him more than they help me, I guess is maybe a better way to say that. 
I'm just desperately hoping. I know I have at least one more estate on the bottom there, so my second shepherd will definitely draw at least two. Hopefully more. Royal carriage duchy? Sure. Mm, not what I was hoping for. Okay, this is probably fine. Play the royal carriage, shepherd a couple of states. Um, I call the I call the carriage now, right? And then play the ranger. I guess I discard these. Maybe I don't discard them. I don't see why I wouldn't discard them. Well, I kind of see why I wouldn't. That's fine. Play you. I get to play a ranger first. Now I gotta think more. Um, in gets played. Shepherd gets played. Um, right, 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 right. Um, I wonder if that was actually the wrong order. It might have been Shepard. I think it was actually Shepard before in there. Shoot. That was, that was a bad order. Wrong order for sure. 100% wrong order. Um, I mean, what am I falconer gaining? I have no idea. Like silver for economy? Maybe. All right, discard two of these. Oh, come on, I was hoping for more. Uh, I guess I can discard all of these things, right? Or do I just discard two estates? I could discard two estates, I can top deck a shepherd with all my stuff to the junk, to the um, the attack. So like, I can just call Royal Carriage now to discard two estates. That leaves like most of my estates on top. So let's just discard these two. Um. I'm going to top deck two shepherds here, right? I just got to make sure that I do it in the right order. Oh, shoot, I got to, think, I got to pick the order? Oh, God. <laughs> um, Ranger's happening. Do I just dismantle a copper? Probably. Maybe dismantle, like, silver instead to get the gold for next turn. It adds a copper to my deck, which is not what I want to see, though. But I think having a gold in my deck is pretty good. They don't have seven coins, which does let me buy, like, another royal carriage. Which does probably something. More, yeah, more stuff. I think that's fine. I can draw through all this, I think. So I'll just do it like this. Grab you. Um, Falconer. To gain the shepherd. I guess the question is, do I actually play the pasture? I don't, right? I don't need, I'm not taking the money on anything, am I? Like, this is just a royal carriage. I gotta top deck these things in the right order? I guess. So, just buy the royal carriage now? I gotta be careful with piles. I don't think there's a third, there's not a clear third pile though. So let's take a royal carriage. Okay, top. I wanna make sure there's sh shepherd and four green cards on top, right? No, shepherd pasture and three estates is slightly better because I get the pasture earlier back in the shuffle, sure. How do you have your Falconer again? Come on. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Did he top deck it? No, he couldn't have top decked it. That's that's actually very frustrating that he has his Falconer in hand again. Mm. No clear third pile. I am down four points though. And uh, he is up first player, right? I'm not first player here, right? Uh, let's see. I have an extra... I have a bunch of royal carriages, though, which I think might... I'm hoping the extra royal carriages are enough to, like, let me catch up a bit. I'm at least a half... I'm probably just, like, a half turn behind here. But I'm, like, a half turn and four points behind, I think. So hopefully the royal carriages give me a little bit of momentum to catch up.
<laughs> it's been almost two hours. This game is still going. It's only game three. <laughs> this is very slow. I'm very sad with the pace of this play. I'm not blaming Swordfish Trombone because I have not been speedy either. I actually just composed that song on the spot. I don't know if you could tell. It was uh, just like a moment of inspiration just struck me. Mm. Oh, okay. It's gonna, it's gonna write a write a, a chord progression for that, but too bad, not doing it. Mm. Order of play, order of play. I believe it starts with playing in because coppers can get discarded and it's fine. Oh, hello, royal carriages. Next up is Hunting Party, I would assume. I don't think I ever... I had carriage, I could carriage the Hunting Party, but is that better than ever just carriaging Shepard? Mmm. It's pretty similar-ish. I think it's just Shepard, though. Just double Shepard. There are worlds in which that gets bad. If my next six cards don't contain any green cards, it's a little awkward, isn't it? But, like, what are the odds my next six cards don't have green cards in them? It's pretty low. Oh, also I can just, like, Falconer for a Ranger if I have to. I think I can call Roller Carriage now. I want to find the Ranger. Well, that's fine. Um, not again, though. I think I'm okay with eight cards to draw off this. That's not as many as I was hoping for, is it? I can't... Like, what can I do damage-wise here? I don't know. I don't want to play too many Shepherds. I'm going to top deck as many as possible. Get to just play the ranger. Play the carriage. Um, like, I don't know what this looks like. I probably just start by, I guess I have to carriage one of these shepherds. Um, just have the actions to do things. So let me just do that now. Call a carriage, discard one, two, three. Do not call a carriage again. Let's see, I'm only 10 points back. I don't suppose this could ever win, right? There's not like a universe in which this wins. I don't, I'm not gonna even look for it. It would involve playing like Dismantle over and over again, which I don't think happens. Um, like if I did Falconer to gain Dismantles and then I would need to dismantle the things into golds, that's not, that's just, don't, don't even, don't even entertain the thought, it's not happening. I could take a second dismantle though. That's not the worst idea in the world. Hmm. More rangers is also fine, just for more draw. Maybe envoy is fine. Eh, Envoy's a little awkward actually in this deck. So I'm gonna play dismantle in this gold for something. I don't know what. Maybe just duchy actually. Sure. I'm just gonna dismantle this gold into a duchy. Um. Do not call the royal carriage though. I keep trying to put end actions for some reason there. Um, we're going to go ahead and Shepherd to max draw here. And we're going to go ahead and... Um, do I call a Rogue Carriage just so I can play more things? Doesn't sound super exciting. I can also just top deck, like, all the green cards, and that's fine. I guess if I Falconer for a, a Dismantle, I can Dismantle Gold into Duchy and... I do want to top deck two shepherds. I don't want to top deck only one shepherd here. Um, so I don't want to play one of these shepherds. So if I dismantle gold, I wouldn't be getting it back this turn. I can also just leave the roll of cares on the mat, and that's perfectly fine. Like, what if I just played ranger, and then I played falconer for, let's say, silver? That's 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, which is, like, a decent number. I can do, like, province duchy off that. That's probably fine. Um, we'll leave the carriage on the mat there. End actions. 
He, can, he can't take five duchies, right? No, there's no way. With two, only the one gold. Only the one gold, he would have to do, like, Falconer into Dismantle. Dismantle two. Buy, like, a bunch. I don't think I don't think the draw is there for that. I don't know. The Roll of Carriage exists, though. I think I'm just going to score points here. Right, so 13. I'm just doing province dutch. I don't think he can take five duchies. And if he can, he probably has enough to like pile other ways as well, right? Um, no, keep that shepherd on top, please. Thank you. We'll see. We'll see if he has enough to, to take five duchies. Um, it's not unreasonable, I don't think, but I don't... <sighs> like, if you can take five duchies, he takes five for all carriages, though, right? And then I'm behind on points, so... Uh, yeah, I think that's just the best line. I think that makes it the hardest possible win, is the province duchy. I guess I could have... Actually, maybe I should have taken another silver and then desperation for, like, double province instead. Mm. There's a world in which that's correct, isn't there? Desperation for double province. That puts me up an extra two points, and it keeps the duchies at six instead of five. It's very possible that's correct, actually. He hasn't played a ranger yet, which is um, interest. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, ranger didn't. Oh no, ranger did draw. Never mind. I was saying ranger didn't draw, um, which means the ranger was bottom decked, which is actually pretty fortunate for me and unfortunate for him because it makes it a lot harder if you don't get to get those big shepherds. These shepherds were a lot, a lot weaker, which hurts to draw quite a bit. There might still be a win here. Like five duchies would not terribly surprise me. Um, I guess there's also a chance at, like, just a duchy and a bunch of dismantles. I don't think that ever happens, though. I don't think that's a possible possibility. Or, like, six rangers in a duchy. You'd have to dismantle, like, a bunch of stuff. Which I don't think can happen. Okay, well, let's see if there's a win here. Uh, the deck has been drawn. Um, the nice thing is that two of the rook, both royal characters are gone already, though, right? Um, gains a felt and a gold. Dismantles the curse. Oh, the curse also scores a point. But, like, what do you, like, there's another dismantle? No. I mean, he has a shepherd still, right? I think. I'm pretty sure it's 5-5 five, five on the shepherds. I don't see how this wins. So, I'm Okay. And I think I have a decent shot of winning at this on my turn. I'll need to think what the, what the line looks like. Um, only seven coins? Oof, that's not even the province. I mean, desperate. Okay, it's a problem with, des with desperation, sure. It's only desperation once, right? Yeah, obviously that'd be stupid if you could do it more than once, wouldn't it? Okay, can I win here? It takes a province and four royal carriages or five duchies, which is just significantly easier, I think. Okay, well, we're just gonna draw and see what happens. Draw all that. Um, shepherd, all that. Oof, that's not what I wanted to see, is it? I need to find that, I need to find that um, ranger. Do I play, or the inn is also fine. I guess I play the hunting party now. Um, I'm gonna call the royal carriage on the hunting party. Okay, I get to play you. What does a win look like? I could dismantle a province new duchy, and then buy four duchies. I could gain, I could gain a dismantle. Um, I could call carriage on the dismantle. I guess I should look if there's like a win in hand already, which I doubt it. No, it's only three duchies in hand. Um, so I'm playing the inn. Okay, that's really bad. Shoot, that's really, really bad. Um, oh, that's really bad. Okay, hold on. Where's my rangers? I really need them. I could call a roll of carriage on this. I could falconer for a ranger instead, but I think it's hard to win if I falconer for a ranger here. 
Um, dismantle province. I could falconer for two dismantles, but I can't really dismantle like more stuff in my hand. Um, I could dismantle right now for those two. That's like three duchies. Um, maybe I do falconer for. No, I need. It's fifteen. I think I need the falconer for for a dismantle for this to ever work out, right? I think I just play the shepherd now. Um, okay, this is fine. This is clearly play ranger. Mm, oh, play the royal carriage. All right, I should be good to win now, right? Let me just double check here. I'm gonna have to have two carriages, so I'd be careful on my carriage calls. Um, the problem with falconer is I can't gain like two types with it. I think I'm just gonna play one shepherd right now for maximum draw. And let me count now. So let's say I dismantle Gold Province. So I'll call the Royal Carriage on that to dismantle Gold Province. I can play the Shepherd to draw. Is that enough? Can I, can I draw everything from that? Actually, I can't. Well, I guess Shepherd Shepherd will draw everything. Okay, so I, I play dismantle twice on Gold Province. I gain two Duchies and then two Golds. Um, let me just make sure that actually scores. I lose three points, but then I gain 15 points, which is enough, right? Because 21 plus 15 is plenty. Um, so I dismantle Gold Province into Duchy Duchy. I Shepherd, I draw, I Shepherd, I draw. Fine. Um, I Falconer, but then I'm out of actions. So I can only play, th I can play three. I can play three, um, dismantles, right? So I need to keep 10 coins. 10 coins plus 3 dismantles works, which means um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need to redraw that gold then. We'll be able to play. Okay. So I dismantle gold province. I shepherd draw. I call rogue carriage. I shepherd draw. I, dis I falconer to gain dismantle. I dismantle one of the golds. I shepherd. No, that's, not, that's the end of my actions then. Okay, I think this works. I'm not just I'm just miscounting, which I do like constantly. I can dismantle and trash the gold into a duchy. I can call a royal carriage. I guess I want to do it now, though. But I want to do it now. Trash the province into a duchy. Not now, though. So I you play you. Now I call royal carriage to get all of my cards. Then I. Make sure this works. I falconer to gain a dismantle. I dismantle the gold into a duchy, and then I have two buys exactly for duchy duchy. Trash the gold into a duchy. All my muns for duchy duchy. Hey, I found the line. Cool. Oh, wing. That was three. That means I don't demote. Cool. And I can't promote anymore, so. This is a guaranteed C and B next season. Uh, that Haunted Woods was so friendly. Very friendly Haunted Woods. That was his first player too, right? So I have to go first now. All right. Game four. We're only halfway done. My God, I'm so tired. I need to work still. Okay, this is fine. Oh, Ghost Ship. Oh, no. Ghost Ship, why do you exist as a card? I'm going to open Stockpile. Militia? Nah, screw Militia. Stockpile. Stockpile? I don't... Ooh, 5-2. Two. 5-2 two is pretty good, probably. Like, Butcher or Ghost Ship are both fine. I think Stockpile Stockpile is fine. I don't really want Silver in this deck if I can help it. Like, I think we're going for a big city quarter thing, even though it's hella awkward. Um, I think you have to, right? Otherwise, you're just getting... Like, money... There's no way money wins here, like, by itself. All right, just double stock all seems fine. I just gotta be careful with not, um... Not overplaying some stuff. I think the Butcher first, right? Probably. Um, this is another five, which is... Maybe now it's Ghost Ship? I could demand... Wait... If I demanded stockpile, 
Is demanding stockpile any good right now? It seems pretty good, actually. Yeah. I demand... Stockpile. I can just keep demanding, actually. I can just keep demanding stockpiles. That's fun. Um... Nine. I can't do two things, though. I could demand stockpile again. But then I only have four coins. For, like, what? City quarter? No. Engineer? No. Ten here would be a lot better, wouldn't it? This could be, like, stockpile... Could be forge? Maybe just forge. Forge is a good card, right? It's better at trash and copper, for sure. Hmm. I could also just demand stockpile again. And I'm pretty likely to hit forge anyway. And I'll take, like, another stockpile? Is that too many stockpiles? No, it's not. I hope I find my butcher. Hmm, forge is a little awkward because my draw doesn't really exist yet. But draw is also really hard to do until you forge other coppers away, so... It's a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? Okay, well, we're just going to miss the butcher then, that's fine. Um, demand stockpile. Is this any good? No idea. But I'm doing it. Uh, this is a sad butcher. Sad, sad butcher. I should just take the forge. Um, militia does not strike me as very bad, like, good. It's just worse than ghost ship, isn't it? Alright, I get to butcher you into... I guess just silver. I'll save a coffer. I'll just... I don't need to spend all this, right? 11's fine. I can just go, like, forge. Maybe forge city quarter. City quarter is really bad for right, this current stage of the game, right? I just really want to forge. I'll pay off the debt, it's fine. No big deal. Um, I'll just keep taking city quarters and assume that they eventually pay off if you get enough of them. Although it gets really awkward to take city quarters once I run out of stockpiles because I have no economy. So there is that particular conundrum. Like, do I just take another city quarter now? Do I not? I don't know. I don't know if it's any good or not, what I'm doing. Don't I have, um... No, I, I don't know. Never mind. Butcher mission shuffle. All right, I'm out of... Out of these things now. Pay off some debt. Call that a turn. I can't wait for my my city quarters to actually be terrible. It's gonna be super cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna toss the copper. And the stockpile, because I don't really think I'm buying anything this turn. I'll just butcher a state to silver. And pay off debt. I could do silver to... I mean, I'm gonna state to the ghost ship, right? I look state to go ship, actually. That sounds pretty good. I don't know, we're just demanding militias at this point? Sure. Butcher a state to go ship. I like go ship a lot. Pay off some debt. Do I just buy a city quarter? <laughs> it's not even good. Whatever, I don't care. Yes! It did the thing! It did the thing I was hoping it would do. <laughs> um, which is <laughs> just this. It's fine. All this makes sense. Um, eventually get enough city quarters where this does things, I think. Alright, this is an awesome forge. Do I just, like, forge the city quarter this turn? I don't know, I could. I could also just trigger the shuffle. But triggering the shuffle without two action cards in it seems pretty bad. I think I just forge city quarter here. Wait, does that work? Hold on. Oh no, it doesn't work! You can't do it with debt. It's just costing coins, right? Coin, coin, coin. Equal to the coal cost in coins. Okay, nope, you can't do that. You can't do debt coin. The debt, uh, debt forge. So I just, I'm just gonna trash three copper here. Or I guess I'll trash two copper here. Ooh! Look at that draw. I'm good at this game. Did he just get, like, a real forge? That's annoying. Um, city quarter. City quarter. Okay. City quarter? Uh, ghost ship? I'm good at this game, look at that. I'm gonna forge... stuff. I guess I need, like, things for my city quarters to hit, but the only, like, reasonable card for city quarter to hit is more city quarters, isn't it? What if I just go to, like, mo I could go to Dismantle. I could start getting some golds and grab some, like, Sacred Groves or something. 
I can't draw this turn. I also want to pay off debt and stuff. I think I'm just going to... Four. I'm just going to go silver to sacred... No, hold on. I think I want to do a state to dismantle and then forge everything but the stockpile into silver. And I can still afford... Oh no, I think I have to keep a copper back because I want to be able to afford a city quarter, I think. Or do I want to get a city quarter still? Probably. Um, so let's do it like this. Wait, what did I just do? Sorry, can I? I meant to undo. Sorry, undo. I don't. That was too many. I, I literally said I was gonna just do like three coppers. There we go. Great. All right, time for that ghost ship to hit. Just right. Oh, it's militia. Is militia worse or better than ghost ship? Probably better. Although it's not 100% clear to me that it's better. It's all good. Okay. So what's the order of operations here? I'm going to dismantle a silver. That seems fine. Maybe I dismantle forge now, actually. Hmm. I gotta think for a second. Dismantle forge into, like, two golds. I think it's completely reasonable, to be honest. I think Forge has done your. I think Forge, you've done your job. Oh, uh, maybe actually, maybe um, maybe Sacred Grove is better. Actually, can I undo that too? No, this is fine. I'm just gonna draw two here. I'm gonna butcher Silver into Sacred Grove. I did this in the wrong order, because now the Sacred Grove is gonna be Wind's Gift. Um, I did it in the wrong order. It, like I, I got Wind's Gift here. Oh no, that's good. Um, I think I just trash this right. Seems fine. All right, it is now time to take a city quarter. Here we shall discard the gold and the, I guess dismantle. Grove has a chance of doing something. City quarter. Mm, go sure. Oh wait, it's, it's not. It's not it's like militia. It's not discard. It's top deck. So which means that it was just all the same thing. Okay, it's fine. Um, I guess I play you to draw fully. Order of operations here. Order of operations. Do I just start taking provinces? Probably right. Do I just dismantle gold into like a ghost ship? Probably, right? Sure, we're gonna dismantle a gold. Not a ghost ship, a uh, grove. Or butcher. Probably just butcher, right? Probably better. There's two cards in there. Um, I guess I'm gonna play one city quarter. Then I play the grove? Ooh, I can discard one, two, three. The problem is I won't draw them all back. Which I don't think I want to. Well, I guess this, I could discard. Nah, nah, don't do it. I'm gonna butcher. I guess I kind of just want the want the economy here, right? I guess it just takes two city quarters, can't I? Is there any way to lose to two city quarters? I don't think so. I just play butcher. I play butcher. Is that enough? I could also butcher. I could also mill a city quarter if I want to do it that way. Um. Don't trash. How much money is this? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's actually exactly enough for two for two city quarters, right? Let me just double count. That's like one extra plus eight and eight. Yeah, so let's don't trash here. Pay all the debt. Pay all the coffers. Bomp. Debt. Bomp. That feels pretty good. That feels really good. Uh, well, top deck doesn't matter. Does it matter? I guess there are actually top decks that matter because of Sacred Grove, right? But he also has no Sacred Grove. Hmm. I guess the ideal top deck would be 
put the action on that as the top card, and that way, in the rare chance of C's gift, I would draw an action card. Is there any other boon that makes that different? I mean, like, obviously there's, like, Earth, but I'm, not, I'm never taking Earth, because I'm not keeping a gold around. Um, that's the only one I ever think does anything. Sure, Militia's gone, that's fine. You, you, oof, don't do this to me. Okay, well, that's a very fair resign, I think. Uh, I was pretty much a billion turns ahead. Um, okay, well, I mean, these games don't have any implications for me. I don't know if um, they have, I mean, I'm sure they have implications for Swordfish Trombone too, for Demotion Regions. At this point, I think the only people who can actually promote are um, Recycle Garbage and Akuchi. And it's looking pretty good for Akuchi. Um, but I think... I'm trying to, I think if Swordfish Trombone like wins these couple games and wins like the last three games against Recycle or like most of those games, there's a chance of not demoting. But it's probably pretty slim at this point. Vampire Open's pretty cool. I'm going to open Silver. Uh, Vampire Open is very cool, I would say, actually. Um, pff, I don't know. <laughs> Do I take, like, a Diplomat? Do I take a Smithy? Smithy to hit Border Village is kind of cool. Border Village Vampire. I think it's Smithy. Hey, look at that. Of course, I found three states, which is terrible. Okay, well, not my favorite draw. I guess I'll take a Mountain Village now. That seems fine. Hey, I found six. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Good. Oh, you missed your... Never mind. I was going to say you missed your vampire, but you didn't. Uh, Locust is uh, completely innocuous, and I have no problems whatsoever with it. This is Border Village Vampire, I assume. I'm trying to play without vampire here is madness. Um, this is... I missed my... I missed my mo mountain village, which is really sad. I guess I still play the smithy, though, right? I just... I still play the smithy. It's fine. Three here is, I guess, silver? I don't know. Is silver that good? Sure. I missed my border village. I guess this is a, another smithy? Yeah, this is like another smithy, and then I can vampire for something or other. Um, my shuffles have been pretty god-awful here. Maybe, maybe it's another... Van I can't think vampire. Is this like another village, maybe? This could just be another village, actually. Sure, it's another village. I just want to make sure my smithy doesn't draw dead. Because there's a very, very big difference between village smithy and just smithy. And the mountain villages have some appeal with something or other, I'm sure. That's another curse, huh? Well, a little annoying. Okay, well, this is getting... This is getting dumb. <laughs> Alright, at least I found the like, village here. We're fine. Do I, um... Do I, talk about, do I take back the village or the smithy? I think I take back the smithy, right? That's unclear. I have another smithy. Oh god, I topped like two coppers. Okay, now it's gotta be the smithy, right? Is it? I have no idea. I could also just be vampire. Or sorry, I'm sorry, bat. Topping the, two, topping the coppers is actually very, very, very rude. Um, I could do like the mountain village and then the smithy. That's probably just the best option, right? Just to make sure I draw all this. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Although I just still missed all my stuff. So, great. Border village vampire. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to draw worse, but it's not its not coming to me. I've trashed zero cards. He's trashed four. Well, I've trashed two cards. Okay, at least this turn looks okay. What's the order? Does Do I ever have anything in a discard for Mountain Village to hit? No, right? No. So I think the order is does not matter. I would love an Artificer. I'm going to take an Artificer at some point. Although I could also just keep taking Vampires forever, and that might be fine too. I kind of like the idea of all the Vampires on this board. I can Vampire for Artificers, and then I can Border Village for Vampires, and then I can Artificer for Smithy Village. 
That sounds like a way to build my deck. Skulk is not great to me. Oh man, that actually hurts a lot. That cost me a whole card to draw. Sorry, Mountain Village. You're awkward with discard attacks. More smithies. I want more smithies. I just want to draw my deck here. Can I do that? I just want the rest of the smithies, I think. Mountain Village, smithy. Border Village, smithy. Mountain Village. Not super great. All right, Border Village, Vampire, right? I'm gonna Vampire for like a Smithy Village, maybe? Nah, maybe a Vampire for like Artificer, Smithy. I still want one Smithy. I'm gonna Vampire for, uh, Greed is good. It could be an Artificer. I don't know why, well, these Conclaves are so bad. Why does he have Conclaves? Why would you even want Conclaves on this board? What a bad card. Is this Artificer? Is this Mountain Village? I think it's just Artificer. Okay. What a draw. What a fantastic draw. Super excited about that. Um, is this just like Border Village Vampire again? I think it is. What hit Envious? I, just, I missed the Envious. Um, Envious is uh, useless, so that's cool. Uh, this is Border Village Vampire. Um, okay. I mean, maybe I should take the Smithy just because the Mountain Villages need to find something. You know what? I should have just taken the smithy. No! Smithy! No! That's so rude. That's so incredibly rude. Why would you do that? Oh no, it's miserable. The strongest hex. Um, smithy. Smithy. Alright. What's in my discard? I don't know. I'm taking all the I'm drawing my deck, right? I'm not ever like not drawing deck here. Well, let's hold on. This mm, it's actually not that clear. I'm drawing deck here. I'm only finding I'm not finding that many core cards. To be perfectly honest, I think I need to top deck a uh, smithy and then I draw a deck, right? <sighs> well, I want to trigger the shuffle and top deck it though. That's the better play. So I think I need to do it like this. And that draws one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it draws like exactly deck if I'm, if I'm counting correctly. So I play the artificer now. Oh, wait, no. I'm two cards short? How did that happen? Sure. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three, four is fine. Top deck's the smithy. Um, plays a smithy. Um, plays a smithy. I'm three cards short. I can't even count the, the number of cards in my hand. Okay. Well, to be honest, that was probably stupid to have all that crap there. I'm going to take another border village and another smithy. I'm going to play a Vampire. Diluted is pretty nice, actually. Um, I'm going to take another Artificer. Vampire. Famine tosses a Mountain Village, which is maybe nothing, maybe something. Look at the last Smithy. I mean, that's fine. Look at the last Smithy. That sounds fine. Let's trash this junk here. Yep, well, to be honest, this was not super unexpected with three stop cards on top of my deck. I did this to myself. I have no one but myself to blame for this, this terrible, terrible shuffle I triggered. Um, I blame myself. Don't think I don't. I guess I trash the silver here, right? Just trash silver, copper, play vampire to gain... I don't know, courtier, maybe? Maybe courtier. Vampire is a three-type, three, three type, isn't it? Alright. End buys. Bat. Trash. Bat. Trash. Vampire. Poverty is nice. I like the poverty. Is it courtier? I kind of like courtier right now. Um, I sure hope I find another village before I run out of cards to draw. Bad Omens is really, actually, really, really, really bad. That's so bad. Oh no, Bad Omens, why? Okay, Bad Omens, don't do this to me. Bad Omens, don't do it to me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Woo, that got exciting for a second, didn't it? Um... Okay, we're going to play the Mountain Village, I guess. And now we're going to consider what this turn looks like. Can I win? What does a win look like? Is my last card a vampire? I think it is, right? My last card should be a vampire. I trashed two cards last turn. So can I win here? Let me just double check. I can't win. It would probably involve me getting four Border Villages, 
which is a little hard to do with vampires. Um, I can't imagine this ever wins. I have two vampires. I can gain, like, a duchy is all I need to score with that. And then I could gain, like, a mountain. Oh, my God. There's no way. Why am I saying for wins? Okay, let's see here. I have artificers, though. I could artificer for um, a vampire. Does that win? Let's say artificer for vampire. I would need to be able to afford um, 24. <laughs> okay, that's just... Why am I thinking about wins right now? That's just nonsense. I'm going to play this courtier on this vampire. I don't need... I want the buy. I guess I don't need actions. So buy coins gold. I'm going to, I guess, pick up that gold right now. I'm going to play this Artie. Um, I'm going to discard... Do I discard anything? Actually, does this win? One, two, three, four, five, six. I get a border village vampire. No. No, I need to play the vampires. I need to play at least one vampire. I need to play um, border village, mountain village. I need a vampire for like the mountain villages. I need something to score points though. Um, no, and there's no way it wins. Okay, it's it's way short. Wait, 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 way short. So let's just like grab a mountain village right now. It's probably fine. I still draw fully if I take the mountain village, right? I also take more economy, but I think just like one, two, three, four to grab this mountain village. Um, I'm gonna grab the smithy now. I get to play mountain village and then Artie. Um, I don't think I discard this turn though. I don't think I discard this turn. I don't see the I don't see the point of discarding right now. So we're gonna play. Um, at least 12. I guess I could do 13. I could also take, I could take Province now. Province now is fine. I think Province Mountain Village, maybe that's fine. That seems fine to me. He's not going to win on his turn. I just trash on my copper and I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Province, maybe Skulk? Nah, just take the village. I'm going to bat four cards. Maybe the village is just not doing anything next turn. There's a chance it's just not doing anything. Um, vampire, play your diplomat. That's cool. It's cool. Fear. Aw. I'm gonna grab another artificer. I'm gonna play a vampire. Hey, you're miserable now. Now you both have to win because we're both miserable, and it's the strongest hex. I'll take another courtier, I guess. Well, I'm gonna say this is a pretty good starting hand. If I do say so myself. Does he have only one diplomat? How does he keep finding his diplomat every turn? It's pretty exciting, isn't it? To find your one diplomat? I guess it wasn't every turn, it was just like that turn and one other turn. Okay, it was only two turns. I might be I might be overstating the 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 draws there. Um I mean for him to win here would be like a minor miracle, I think, right? He has three vampires, though, right? I don't know. Maybe it wins. Maybe there's a world in which this wins. His draw situation is worse than mine by a little bit. Let's see, with three vampires... Alright, never mind, it's not... It's just over. I think I can win this turn, though, right? Oh, haunting. That's... Whatever, it's fine. Um... There's another vampire. What do I top deck? I guess I top deck the courtier, right? Just in case I get hit with... Well... There's not fear. Or do you saw fear. I guess there's the one that discards my stuff, so maybe discard courtier is better than discard other stuff. Copper is bad. Don't want copper in my deck. Okay. You. 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 Okay. Um, that was fun. Little journey there. 
Can I win here? I got two vampires. I got three artificers. What would, what would be the piles? I also need to score. I only need to score Dutchie, though. Like, with two vampires, I can get Dutchie... I can get, like, Dutchie Artificer. And then I would need to have how many... How many things? I don't know. I'm just gonna play this Artificer first and think while I see the rest of my hand. Um, like, if I gained... I mean, I could maybe gain two Border Villages. If I gain two Border Villages off the Artificers, I only need two more, which is only 12. Um, and I would just need to... I don't even need the duchy. I can just, like, border village for three mountain villages and a duchy. So I can discard the vampires and the bats. So let's say I discard one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Um, Artificer discards... Um, I guess I shouldn't discard until I've I've played my courtier for the vampire. I would only, I only need 12 coins and two buys. So what I'm going to do is not use this Artificer, because I don't need to use both of all of them. I'm going to courtier the vampire for these three things. There. Um, I don't need more buys now, so I can courtier the vampire again. Take the action. I guess I don't even need the action, though, right? I can just do this. I can courtier now again. The vampire for these three things. Now I can play the artificer. All right, now I count. Um, there's five, six. I play the other other artificer and I discard two, three, four, five, six, and that's eleven coins. Plus the artificer itself makes twelve coins. Is that exact? I think it's exact. Hold on, let me just double check. I discard five, six. There. I play the Artificer, I draw a card. So I discard one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, it's actually it's more than exact. Okay, so I just take the Border Villages now. One, two, three, four, five, six. On a Border Village. Gaining a Mountain Village. I get to play the Artificer. I get to use you on one, two, three, Game four, work. five, six. Uh, to gain a border village, gaining a mountain village, and I get to go border village, mountain village, border village, duchy, and that wins. Um, somebody's not muted if you can mute yourself. Or you will be muted. Forcefully. By me right-clicking your name and hitting mute. Um... That was Swordfish's first turn, too. So I might have a 6-0 here. Man, if I 6-0 here, I'm up to 18 wins in the season, right? Hmm, I don't know. It's definitely a time to come in second. It was 18 to 19 against Akuchi. All right, what do we got? Governor shenanigans, witch stuff. There's a moat. I might open with, um, silver... I don't know. Silver Conclave maybe is fine. It's definitely a silver. Maybe it's barren. Probably not barren. Maybe it's like Coin of the Realm. I really want a five. Could be silver or silver. I don't think Conclave is like... Conclave's not the thing, is it? No, no, it's probably fine. Okay, that's a lot of money. Could we get less money right now? Well, I guess this is Coin of the Realm, so it's fine. Baron is fine. Maybe Baron Open was better. I don't know. I could be very much convinced that Baron Open was better. Hmm, we're gonna Conclave. I'm gonna buy the Witch now. Alright, Sentry does not miss a Shuffle, which is exactly what I want Sentry to do. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna take another Witch now, I think. Two Witches seem like a good number of Witches. And now it's just... Is it Second Sentry? Play second century. Um, I don't want to call coin on that nonsense, right? So we'll take a second century now. Man, my century's not hitting, huh? I guess I get governors now. Or maybe I just get like, yeah, I guess governors now. It's fine. Call the coin on that. 
I guess we're trashing you. Leaving you there. Sentry gets to trash too. I still have all my junk. Four here is not what I wanted to see. I think this is just another coin though, right? Probably another coin is fine. Hmm, this is nice. I don't know, the Baron's gonna have some problems this game. Okay, well I did not find the witches, which is fine. Is it governor time? Probably governor time. Cellar's kind of nice with the sentries, I'll say. Just because you can discard into them nicely. Um, do I play witch first here? Um, I don't think I play witch first here. I played sentry first here, I think. Okay, trash you, fine. Play the witch, call coin, play the sentry, trash you. I guess I should draw with this governor? Sure. Just to draw through my deck. That gets all that stuff in play. Um, I guess, um, another governor is fine. At some point I want, like, laboratories instead. I also want cellar pretty soon, too. I guess I can, like, remodel into a cellar and it's fine. Alright, curses are gone. There's only one in the trash. Call coin. You, you. I'm just gonna trash. I don't think I draw in here. I don't see the real, real reason. I'm gonna trash and gain curse to a seller, because I think seller is very, very good right now. And I'm gonna grab maybe laboratory instead of governor. I wanna draw with things that aren't governor, right? So let's grab some labs. Um, the only downside about not drawing there is I don't get a coin of the realm play, which could get awkward, depending on if I find. Um, no, I can't find a conclave. Never mind. Oh, uh, actually, maybe I should have just drawn just because I knew the rest of the shuffle was terrible. It's not that bad. If I find the governor, it's okay. Um, I did not find the governor. I don't have a coin down, right? So, we're just going to go ahead and uh, stop right there. Hmm, do I play Sentry first here? Or do I try to draw back around so I can sell or discard and trash up all this stuff guaranteed? Ooh, those are some good Sentries there. Look at that Sentry action. I think I'm gonna draw first here, actually. No. Hmm, I'll play one Sentry first. Okay, that's fine. Play you. Um, let's play one Governor for draw. I think it's important to get back around all this crap. Hmm, I guess I'm calling Coin of the Realm playing this Witch. I get to play Conclave on Cellar to toss one, two, um, just two cards, right? Just two cards. And I play the Sentry, the Trash. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Governor gets to do something. I could gain a gold now. I guess I could Trash gain Silver. Sorry, I'm chewing again to the Governor. I don't want to give him more free Trashes, but I think it's fine. I can play it this turn, which makes it a lot more appealing. I'm just gonna gain a gold now. Uh, this is only four, unfortunately. Do I have another coin in the realm? I mean, I guess. I don't have to do anything. Probably not. Silver maybe is better? Eh. Silver gets remodeled, I guess. Better than other things. Sure, I'll take a silver. good shape right now, right? Although, I'm behind on points. I mean, he's trashed all his curses. Or most of them. That's fine. I am up, like, immaterial by a huge margin, right? I have three governors and a laboratory. Alright, we're going to the witch, I guess. Um, continue. I'm going to draw with one governor. I think I have to draw with one governor. Oh, no! Okay, that's fine. Play you. Ah, shoot. I don't get the trash here if I don't find the cellar. But I can't... Actually, the cellar doesn't do anything anyway. Oh, that's very annoying, not finding the stuff there. 
Let's play the sentry, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna leave those there, no problem. I'm gonna governor... I'm gonna trash this silver into another laboratory. And I'm gonna gain a gold, I guess, and buy, like, another laboratory. Just gain a gold. Um, no reason to draw on here. More labs is fine. I don't see a problem with it. Alright, there's the seller. Good. So I can, I can hopefully trash the two curses this turn. Um... And... I should have no problem trashing both curses. I can maybe trash the copper too, but I would need to draw a little bit better than I did last turn. I wonder if I... If he remodels, do I go Conclave to Governor, maybe? Probably. Conclave's not very good, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, con trashing Conclave to something seems pretty good. Do I want a Laboratory or want another Governor? I think this turn I want another Governor. Hmm. I guess I just lead on Witch here. I don't see any reason not to lead on Witch here. Well, that's not true. There's a reason to play Sentry first here, actually. I'm gonna play Sentry first. I'll, I won't get to trash three cards, but I should be able to still trash two cards, which is plenty. All right. Piles, 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 piles. I think it's province time, for sure. All right, confirm trashing. It's a little awkward getting back. I need to get back around to my shuffle and then discard. If I discard this, it's actually pretty awkward to, uh, to, to Sentry trash, right? So let's not discard, actually. Uh, let's play a witch. We'll call the coin. We'll play a witch. Play a lab. Play a lab. Okay, so I just sell her. It's a little awkward now. That sentry came too late in the shuffle. I need I needed like one more card or like two more cards or something different. Just toss copper, copper, curse. That gives me my best chance of actually trashing two of them. I think. Or actually, I'm gonna trash one card anyway. Shoot, and it's not the right one. Okay, well, it's all good. We're gonna gain a gold. We're gonna trash a gold. Um, takes the conclave. I'm gonna draw. And I'm gonna governor gain gold and buy the last governor. I don't know if I want to do that actually. Shoot. No, because Coin of the Realms are very low. I think I'm just going to trash and game to another province is fine. And with four here, I'll take a... Uh, I don't know. Do I want another Conclave? Do I want a Moat? Do I want a Baron? Do I want just Conclave? Sure. Conclave has the advantage of um, being worth two coins, I guess. If I drew Conclave here, I get to remodel it into something useful, I guess? I don't know. Maybe Baron was just the better way to do that. Regardless, starting with three labs is a... Uh, it's a thing I will accept. If I must. Ooh, Conclave. Look at that. I'm so good at this game. Look how, look how well I just drew Conclave there. What do I remodel into? I don't know. We'll see if he actually... He might not even remodel. He probably will, though. Maybe not. We'll see. Not remodeling. Okay, that's fine. That Baron doing work there, huh? Is that double province? Not quite. Hmm, I can't take five provinces here, can I? Can I win here, actually? Maybe. Hmm, I don't think so. Maybe? We'll find out. Like, I can remodel curses into, into Coin of the Realms. I can remodel silver into, coin, into like, a governor. 
I don't have the buys, though, that I would necessarily need. I want to avoid drawing cards if I can help it, but I also want to get rid of these crap in my hand. Let's say I drew two governors off this, just hypothetically. I get to remodel only three cards, actually. I have five governors. I could remodel three. Actually, this does win. I think. So let's let's just do some math real quick. Um, I could remodel stuff into stuff. If I remodel curse, curse, copper into three coins, I remodel a silver into governor, and just buy a coin. That scores me two. So you need to do like a bunch more than that. I don't know. I have five governors, don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. I'm trashing. I confirm discarding. I confirm trashing, confirm discarding. I get the seller one, two, three cards. Oh no, I don't have as many governors as I thought. No, there's one in my discard? No, I only have four. Never mind, he has five. If I draw a silver here off the witch, it wins, right? Oh no! All is lost! I needed a silver. Um, there might have been a guaranteed line there, actually, that I missed. Um, there might have been a guaranteed line there that I missed. That's fine. I'm gonna live. I kind of thought there was a line there. So, look at that. Oh, I'm just finding a silver there is winning. What an unfortunate series of events. Gain gold. Gain gold. Gain gold. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's correct or not, but uh, it's what I chose to do. There had to have been a guaranteed line there, right? I just need to find one of those silvers. So maybe if I ah, <sighs> maybe there wasn't a guaranteed line actually. Maybe the guaranteed line required me to discard worth with them um, to discard, but I couldn't. I didn't have anything else to discard. I discarded as much as I possibly could have, and still gotten exactly what I needed. Because I couldn't discard a governor, I couldn't discard a, a zero-cost card, right? Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. There might be a line there that wins. Regardless, I think I'm in a good shape. I don't think there's any way he gets... Maybe there's a way he gets four provinces. I don't know. But if he's getting four provinces, I'm losing anyway, right? Like, I don't, I don't think I ever beat four provinces on that board. Um, I don't know. Don't just trash. Maybe I, actually, maybe I sh mm, actually, I'm kind of regretting taking a province there, or two provinces there. I think that was too dangerous. Because I could have beaten, because I could have modeled this into other things, right? I could have beaten something there. Like, he just wins here, right? With, um, remodel two golds, right? And then buy gold, or buy province. I assume this just wins, without me counting too much. All right, GG's. I think I threw that last game. Um, yeah, and then the Baron's gonna be plenty of money. Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if there's a win there or not, actually. It's really close. All right, anyway. That is the match. 5-1, not bad, I'll take it. I'll see you in B next season. If I don't die before then, which, who knows. Till then.